tell your mom? Did you just assume his gender? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Welcome to episode 39 of Menace <laughs> and the Man. <laughs> Stan the Man, Dennis the Menace Bermudez, and yep. we're joined by G Fuel Sal Triolo. We have, at episode 333, it's going to be our last episode. I'm leaving Stan. Yep. We'll be done and by I'm then. And I'm bringing... Sal, yep. menace in the Sal show. Yeah, well, you could still be. It could still be a menace in the man show. It just wouldn't be Stan the man. It'd be Sal the man. Sal. <laughs> Why is everybody assuming my gender? <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on, Sal? Welcome to the show, finally. Well, who the yeah. fuck is this guy next to me, dude? I just said Sal Triola from G. I'm Sal. Oh, what is your job title, Sal? Let's get to that. I that am... seems like a vague thing, as as you're saying your gender is vague as well. <laughs> <laughs> I am the chief partnership officer for G Fuel Energy. Couldn't you just be the officer manager? The or? officer and wear a badge. Just stand but no, door. but he likes the chief. Yeah, yeah, he likes the chief aspect of yeah. it. People call me and ask if this yeah. is it. This is Lola. She's a showgirl. She's just hanging out with us today. You found another? Oh, this is that same stray dog. You, we kept, you kept it? Uh, No, I guess I... Well... That's a dog? Was, yeah, it was in the parking lot again. Really? I wonder whose dog Is this is. a dog or a fox? I think this might be a mini fox who lives over here by G Fuel. Something like that. You guys ever see this dog around G Fuel? Sometimes. I well, I hear I hear something outside. We don't really have windows in my office, so. Yikes. What? Yeah. What no. do you mean, no windows in your office? Well, they don't want the guys no getting. Windows. You know, Sal gets easily distracted. Very easily. He has yeah. to just have. That's why I drink G Fuel to focus. Okay. <laughs> do you like that? I'm uh, yeah. It already. Now Got the shirt. You guys came out with a new, not a new drink, but a new drink. Yeah. A so, new form. Yep. So the current product is, this is our flagship product, the powder, Can, right? Give, him, give his own camera. Sugar-free, gluten-free, 25 calories, ton of B vitamins, antioxidants. Put it, uh, you're at that camera now. Derived from 19 different fruits, right? So we just came out with our new canned ready all to right, drink so let me, so, version All right. This. So 25 calories. Yep. How many, um, is it milligrams of caffeine? Uh, yeah. How many milligrams of caffeine? Uh, in the tub, per scoop, the powder, hundred fifty. Per scoop. Per scoop. Okay. Um, how much does like a Red Bull have in it? It depends on the size, but um, I think they they. How many? Okay, okay. So I how around how many how many ounces of fluid ounces should you I put in it, one? I think sixteen ounces is ideal. Okay. You really can adjust it to like your flavor preference, right? If you want it stronger, less water. Right. You want it more watered down. It has no multivitamins water. as well. Yeah, a ton of B vitamins, B12, B6. Multivitamins or just B, B vitamins? A ton of B vitamins. A B complex. B vitamins, uh, vitamin C. Um, I believe there's vitamin D in it as well. Because I know a lot of people vitamin like – Vitamin C, vitamin E. I know a lot of people when, they, um, when they're out boozing, right? Yeah. I would say I know a few people that go to Vegas and they go really hard and then the – the next um like day so they can like rally Mm. they'll have a doctor come in and give them a b complex iv 12 yeah so is that like so if you were hung over i mean essentially on paper you can take some g fuel to keep keep the party going the best way to inject uh the best way to take b12 is to have it injected um but that's why there's the amount the amount of b12 that's in there is in there for a reason because a lot of it you'll just pass by piss out Okay. Essentially. Um. So, 125, right? 150. 150 milligrams, milligrams of caffeine. caffeine yep. Uh, B complex. A couple other, you know, essential multivitamins. Mm-hmm. Did you say there's like fruit in there? Well, there's antioxidants derived from 19 different fruit. Oh, okay. Extracts, so. so antioxidants. Yeah. Oh man, I wish I got that fly. Um, tastes delicious. Yeah, it tastes amazing. So that's like. The biggest thing with supplements, I mean, we've been making supplements from 2004, right? And uh, the biggest thing with t- supplements is the amount of active ingredients in it. The more v- vitamins naturally taste terrible, so does caffeine. So to mask that taste is not easy, and that's why a lot of pre-workouts that you'll try, a lot of different um, like uh, amino drinks that you'll try don't always taste good. Okay. We nailed the taste. and uh, yeah, So not to confuse, a pre this is not a pre-workout. This is an energy drink, right? So a lot of people ask if this is a pre-workout. And the I mean, you could if you want. To. Well, the biggest difference is a pre-workout is the main purpose of it is to increase blood flow and nitric oxide production to the muscles because you want to pump. 
when you're working out, right? The more right. blood flow, the more oxygen flow, the more reps you're going to be able to get out. This does none of that. There's no pumping agents at all. It's strictly for energy, focus, and endurance. And the biggest component of it is the focus complex. So um, that's why we market G Fuel to gamers because um, when you're competing at, I mean, games in 2019 are completely different from what they were years ago. And you so, really need to focus in yeah. if you want to play at a high level. Yeah. So. Um, Let's like let's do a little name dropping real quick, okay? Who are your three top gamers or ex gamers that you guys sponsor? That you guys top, work with? Top in in terms of like performance or entertainment, right? Because we have the esports players and then we have our casual gamers and entertainers. I mean, like, you're just most well known. Yeah, I think menace. I, I would say, fame, yeah, fame. I would say like, Doctor Disrespect. Oh, he's, he's, love him. He's a legend, man. He, yeah. He's like the funniest guy to watch. Like his Twitch stream, I if I put that thing on, man, I can't turn it off. He's hilarious. He's yeah. he's naturally great at what he does. I would have to give it a watch and see what he's doing to So I'll mention that before we went live. Because I I, I feel like I have moments of greatness when I stream, but then yeah. there's other like I'm just like, man, it takes a lot of energy to keep this his his production act going, if you will. Yeah, his production level of his Twitch stream is is off the train chains too. He has like all these different rooms he goes into. He's whole he's hilarious. It really is like a well, brilliant Well, I mean you gotta try it. Gotta Menace to the Man show is we have different rooms sometimes. We We have always different sets. We're gonna have different sets for the next three weeks. Watch. Yeah. This dog is attacking me. We don't play no tongue. games. Any chance your mom's house will be one of them. If you really want to, yeah. So here, we'll get into heavy into the gaming, heavy into the G Fuel. Let's check in with Jared Gordon quick. Get away, Lola. Stop Just... hooking over here. Get out of here. Foxes are really friendly. She's trying to be. So I have this theory. What if dogs actually hated, like, if they wagged their tail? What if that meant, like, they're not happy and they just hated being pet? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't like being bad. Hey. Jared Gordon. Oh, oh, is this the Flash? Hello. Is this the Flash? It's him. Oh, is that him? Yeah, we just wanted to call you, we just wanted to call you up and congratulate you on that win, Jared. Woo, woo. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you, gentlemen. Nice. Menace and the Man. We're joined by Sal Triola from G Fuel here, one of our sponsors. What's up, brother? Hey, how you doing? Jared, you... Jared actually did uh, some G Fuel stuff years ago. Jared, you, you, I don't know if you remember me. We did uh, we did like a photo shoot or something, like maybe like four years ago or something. Dude, hang on. Can we hold the phone here? Did you just assume Jared's gender, dude? <laughs> By calling him a brother? <laughs> That's we're just... naked. I was naked, yeah. <laughs> You're naked? <laughs> I remember, yeah. I was just uh, and I was with Flea Van Over, right? Yeah. Yup. Oh. Yup. Yeah. Throwback. And yeah, the... I remember that. Throwback yeah. Tuesday. Throwback Tuesday. Or would this be a tossback Tuesday? Or say again, you're kind of. Is this a tossback Tuesday? Because Thursday, there's an H in it. Throw, there's an H in it. But like a tossback. There's no, right? There's no H in. I like that. Okay, thanks. I, just, back I think I'm going to start hashtag that. Hashtag Tossback Tuesdays and hashtag Mess in the Man show. I like that. Toss your salad Tuesdays. <laughs> Whoa. All right, we, we could hashtag it that as well, Jared. What are you getting into over there, Jared? All right. Buy me a drink. Where first. are you right now? I'm actually, uh, <laughs> I'm with the wall. <laughs> of course. A, a dinner date, I'm sure. We're, we're driving to, uh, well, we're in Chicago. Okay. And it's Bilal's birthday today. Oh, Zang. Happy birthday, Bilal. Bilal. Happy birthday, Bilal. And we're going to some steakhouse called Prime Parisian. So I was right. How did I know so, it was a dinner date? Because it is dinner time. We're celebrating Bilal's birthday. I'm going to buy him like a huge plate of bacon wow that's Ooh, wow. i think that's amazing I think that's, I think that's fucked up actually isn't that actually fucked up <laughs> yeah he's not gonna eat that now does bacon smell good to someone like him see they want to know if bacon gets you i eat beef bacon and turkey bacon he he eats beef and turkey bacon so oh okay so regular bacon does smell delicious to you yeah, yeah i guess 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I smell it often. It's not like we decided we're cooking bacon randomly and not eating it. Right. Oh, my goodness. That's probably very tempting, though, the smell of bacon. Bacon's delicious. Oh. Yeah. If anyone's cooking bacon in front of me, like, let me have a piece. Yeah, at least one. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Even or turkey night. bacon. I, I fuck with turkey yeah, bacon, Yeah, I too. eat turkey bacon. I need my bacon, like, crispy. Yeah. Bacon. I hate when you, like, somebody, you smell the bacon, you're like, oh, we're getting bacon, and then you get served just, like, pieces fat. of loose fat. Ugh. Yeah. It's terrible. Fucking asshole. So now back to this uh, birthday dinner. You're you're buying, Jared? Am I paying for the dinner? <laughs> well, he did win his fight. He won the spot. <laughs> I wasn't playing on it. But... Oof. <laughs> Um, I guess we'll figure that out. Maybe you'll, <laughs> <the tip. laughs> Maybe you'll leave the tip. Maybe you'll leave the tip. Yeah, tip. Yeah. Oh, I guess. You I guess the... I'm gonna ask for you You got to do the right thing. It's his birthday, you know. I'm sure Menace might buy me a Happy Meal or something on my birthday. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're going out with like a couple other people, so hopefully they pick up the tab. <laughs> Oh, all right. So it's a couple people. It's not just you two. Yeah, so, it's not so me and the wall. I'm not driving a fucking Chicago with the wall. Let's drive the dinner with you. Yeah. Now, it, did it's I like see a this? Hour ride in traffic. Is our boy Lewis Taylor going to be there? Oh yeah, Lewis will be there. Yeah, Lewis coming. Love, love Lewis Taylor. Now, did I see correctly? Men. Did I did I see correctly? You fought, you won, and like you were back in the gym not even a week later. Monday. Yeah, um, I mean, I hurt my ribs a little. Okay. So I've been uh, not like I did spar yesterday, but it was just like some light boxing sparring and some drilling. But I can't roll yet. I can't wrestle because my ribs are too banged up to to have like pressure on them. But uh, I'm lifting and I'm running and I'm sprinting and I'm drilling and. So, yeah, I'm back in the gym, I guess. Right back at it. I like it, dude. Are you looking to fight again, too? Are you looking for a quick turnaround? Well, I'm um, looking for... I'm suspended for a month. How long? So, Sorry. I guess they, just just a month. Okay. But I'm uh, planning on getting on the Madison Square Garden car. Oh, right. I saw that. Oh, yeah, I see you rallying for that. We'll try to do our part as well. Help spread the word out there. Menace might make a phone call or Yeah, two. I mean... I think I'm the only fighter from New York who has not in the UFC who has not fought in New York yet. This is true. And my my grandfather fought in Madison Square Garden. Boxing, right? Wow. And I was I was born in Manhattan and I grew up in Long Island and Queens my whole life, so I mean and I used to train at Henzo's, which as we know is Four blocks away from Madison Square Garden, yeah. so I walked fucking I walked by it every fucking day for years. Damn. So I mean, I think it's my time. I think I, I, I think I deserve it. I mean, I hope I deserve it. I agree. Now, so, do you have somebody in mind? So we were thinking maybe Bob Ross. Ooh, violent Bob Ooh, Ross. That'd be I a good one. Love that. Only only because like someone on Twitter brought it up, and like there was some back and forth. Not not between me and Bob, but like between fans and and whoever posted it, and uh, you know I think it's like a good fight. Obviously, he's got a he's got a good you know a little hype behind him. Yeah, for sure. And I think it's I think it's like stylistically a good matchup for me. Like my pressure and he's tall, but I think if I take him down, I can hold him there for sure. For sure. Now the thing is, I mean, is I just fought is a he, tall guy. Right, right. Is he? Well, he will he be prepared to uh, dance? Like, is his how's his health and stuff like that? Because I know he fought not too too long ago, right? Yeah, he bloodied up Matt Wyman. Right, so he's he yeah. should be healthy. He should be good to go. Yeah, he didn't take too much damage in that. Yeah, fight. he should be. Yeah. But like Bilal, I didn't see Bilal take too much damage in that his fight either. But he's got some. You know, you come out with weird shit sometimes, rib oh, injuries yeah. and stuff. You know yeah. that. Yeah. But no, I think that'd be a so, great, I mean, that'd be a great matchup, a nice next step up to that next upper echelon of opponent. So I think the move. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a fucking step up. I mean, I fought with guys that I think are better than him already. I was talking after you win the fight, then it'd be that next step up. You know. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tweet. Sure. I'm gonna tweet at him. We'll try and get him on the show. I want to hear his story too. And I'm like, hey, I know a guy who's looking for a dance partner at Madison Square Garden. Goes by the name Flash. You interested? 
That's it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, whatever you want to do. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, we're down for that. And then yeah. we'd love to see yeah. you fight in Madison Square Garden, put on a show yeah. in front of your home people. Yeah, I'd be there, front row, well, hammer yeah. drunk, tuxedo T-shirt, you know, because like I want to be formal, <laughs> but I want to be like there to party. So. Yeah, I was just watching Calvary Nights. <laughs> and he was like, uh, he was like, I like to picture my Jesus in a, <laughs> in a tuxedo t shirt. <laughs> you know, sophisticated. I like the party. <laughs> and then he's got wings coming out of his back. He's got Led Zeppelin playing behind him. Is that what it is? Is that the, ba- is that the band he says? Fucking amazing, amazing. movie. Yeah. Great movie. Amazing movie. One of the, one yeah. of the best. I'm going to make my kids watch it when they get older. Why not watch it now? Because they wouldn't, they wouldn't Wait, get the humor. Spe- speaking of like funny <laughs> movies, have you guys ever seen the movie MacGruber? Of course. It's on HBO right it's now. Cold? If you MacGruber, if you've never seen it, like I think it's like one of my top five it's funniest a, movies of all time. It's a spoof on that old show MacGyver. Yeah, I, yeah. Man, it's have I so seen it? funny. Like you have to like get that humor though. Not get it, but you have to be okay with that humor. It's like yeah. over the top humor, you know. It's absolutely hilarious. So I now, I mean, now I'm, I'm kind of hungry now. What kind of steak are you going to get? Sorry I'm bouncing around on you. That's how we roll here. I don't know. I mean, I could always go for some quarter mouth or, or maybe uh, rib eyes. How are you going to get that I sucker done? Really I was just going to ask that. Really Because I'm like the odd one out. Mignano. You what? I really like filet mignon also, though. Oh, but, I mean, that's the only steak I get. Why don't you? Why well, don't you get one? Either. You get one, but I'll get the other, and you guys cut it in half. Whoa, a real date. Well, we're gonna party tonight. We're gonna. Our kind of party is like eating, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, you guys are probably gonna go hard. Yeah, we're gonna go hard. So I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah, send pics. Send lots of snaps. All right. Yeah. I will. Keep it private. Yeah, post some stories and tag us in them. We'd love to watch it like that. See some boys bonding. Got it. I'm on it. So now, Jared, another thing we obviously have to touch on is your post-fight speech. That was amazing. Was that like your plan the whole time, or was that just organic and just came out that way? Uh, no, I didn't like have it. Uh, I, I didn't write it down. I knew I wanted to say something along those lines, um, but it just came out that way, you know? Yeah, it started a little dark, um, but then you luckily turned it around and saved it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, you know, I try to like, you know, make it a little dramatic. Yeah, definitely dramatic. But I, but I ended on a high note. <laughs> oh, yeah, because yeah. cause just like a movie, you gotta grab people's attention once you open your mouth, it's and then not, once you grab their attention, you keep them around, and then you get your message through. It's not. It's also not yeah, exactly. easy to deliver like a precise message with your adrenaline spiked through the roof. You know, like mm. I mean, I, I couldn't imagine like talking clearly like with my adrenaline that high right after a fight. You know. Can't be easy. Yeah, it's definitely. Uh, well, you're average, Sal. So, <laughs> and even this definitely guy. Tough, especially after 15 minutes of fighting. But yeah, but I, your your cardio is ridiculous, Jared. You weren't even breathing heavy after 15 minutes. It didn't look like it anyway. And then even like that's one of the things like I know when I watch Jared fight, first round, whatever happens in the first round, second and third round are going to be his. Like his cardio, his pace, it just always is a little bit better than the other guy. It seems. Yeah. Yeah, I try to pride myself on that. I mean, something that I always, uh, I do a lot of cardio when I'm old running, long distance hard running, a lot of sprinting. Well, but that, um, That's where the nickname came from, right? Your ability to run? It's definitely not because I'm fast, because I'm really not that fast. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's more or less because I just stopped, I, don't, I never stopped moving in the gym, and I just kept going and going. Who gave, you your fight name? Who gave you your fight name? Who gave you your fight name? Just had good cardio. Uh, my first coach. His name is Stephen Williams. He's a he's a black belt under uh, John Danaher. He named me that. All right. I've heard of him before. Okay. Not never met him though. Not familiar. He's really uh. He's really high level. He actually, like everyone that meets him. We all agree that he could probably have been UFC champion, but he just never he just never pursued it. He actually he teaches in the Bronx at a, a school called the Viking Academy. Check him out on Instagram. He's that he's he's fucking legit. 
What's right. what's his what's his what's his tag, dude? What's his username? The uh, the Instagram is called the Viking Academy. Okay. He's a really really good instructor. All the guys in the gym are like are newbies, but he has a lot of really good content. Yeah, he's one of those OG Henzo guys from way back in the day. Not really. He's only like thirty one. Oh, he's not. I'm thinking he started. Else then. He started training at uh, Henzo's when he was like fourteen or fifteen. Oh yeah, then it is the guy I'm thinking of. He's been with Henzo for you're years. You're thinking of Sean. You're thinking of Sean Williams. Yeah, well, you guy, Sean Williams. Yeah, what'd you just say? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you didn't just say Sean Williams, dude. Wouldn't, dude? How stupid uh, is this Steven. kid? Oh, Steven. Steven Williams. Oh yeah, I'm thinking of Sean Williams. Yeah. How stupid is this kid, Jared? I mean, oh my gosh, I like him. He's a nice guy. Not as stupid as you, Menace. You better get out of my damn face, Stan. You're the Stan. one. You're the one getting in my face. <laughs> no. So how much do you and Bilal bicker, or is it always like smooth sailing? Because me and Menace are probably less friends than you guys, but me and Menace bicker yeah. all the time. No, we don't really bicker. We more or less just like make fun of each other and stuff, kind of like how you guys are right yeah, now. Yeah, same. Oh, I guess that's we, what we do. We too. never, we never argue. I've never argued about anything with him. Do Literally we, nothing. Sometimes never had well, a disagreement. Yeah, Stan drinks, so Weird. sometimes I gotta be like, "Hey, man, like you can't talk to people like that." <laughs> He's like, "No, nah, fuck them." I'm like, "Stan, no, you just." <laughs> Like, that's bad. That's not professional. Like, yeah, well, get it. fuck him. I'm like, no, Stan. That's not my attitude sober as well sometimes. I think I'm pretty. Yeah, and sometimes, and sometimes sober. I'm like, hey, Stan, you can't talk to people like that. He's like, well, yeah. I'm pretty, was I being mean? I'm like, yeah, Stan. I'm, I'm like, pretty even killed, even keel, whatever the term is. Yeah, tilted kilt. Kind of a dick to everybody, tilted if you will. Kilt. It's the worst place ever. So yeah, that, it helps when you, don't, when you don't drink. Like me and Blah, you know, we, never, we don't drink, so. We never have to argue when we're drunk. Stan's the reason why I drink. No. Yeah. We've been over this. Who's the worst influence, me or you? It's pretty close. Uh, And definitely you. What are you talking about? Oh, it's pretty close. After every episode, you're in the bar alone with Lola. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a stray dog in studio with us that Menace keeps finding in the parking lot. And he brings <laughs> in. She's been low-key licking my hand dog. the entire time. I she's dare cute. You smell she my looks like a right fox. Now. Nah, she smells good. No, smell my hands. All right, Jared. Well, we don't want to keep you too long. Oh, wow. But you got what are you guys Both just driving? Guys. How much time you got? We actually just arrived. Good. All right, sounds like a plan. So yeah. perfect timing. All right, make sure you uh yeah. don't uh, try to get somebody else to pick up the bill. You know how to do that. Oh right? yeah. yeah, lots of winks. Yeah, winks from across. Wait, the say it again. Try to t- try to get someone else to what? Come up with the game plan. Try to get somebody else to pick up the bill. Like, what's the move? You gonna go to the bathroom? Oh when yeah, the bill yeah comes? I got that. Trust me. Oh yeah. I'll let I you know. That. I'll let that, you know how I figured it out. Do I the love little that. do the little food poisoning and be like, I'll be right back, guys. I gotta go to the bathroom. Powder <laughs> yeah, take a shit. Or poop yourself right at the table. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you poop yourself at the table. Like this food made me do it. Shit. <laughs> sure way to get out of the bill. <laughs> All right, well, again, congrats on that win, Jared, and uh, happy birthday to Bilal Muhammad. Yeah, happy birthday, bro. Happy How birthday. old are you now? He's actually inside. He just turned 31. Nice. All right, yeah. so happy birthday. Hope you guys have a great night, and yeah. uh, thanks. thank you again, Jared. You're yeah. the man. Miss you, dude. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. L- let care, us man. know when you book your next one. Yeah, I miss you. Yes, sir. Take I- it easy. I miss you. Later. I miss you. Dist. Whoa. That's one of his things. Well, no, Sal, he tries it with every guest. You should text it to him right now. He gets yeah. It. By the way, I said I miss you. Yeah. By the no, way. I'm going to send him the clip. We're going to clip it. I'm like, yeah. By the way, is... I said I miss you four times. Yeah. And you ignored me all four times. Wait, dude. I, so I have a gift for Dennis. Can I give it to him or you could call somebody uh, right away? Yeah. Okay. Freaking love gifts, dude. All right, Lols. All right, you got to, Lols, you got to step back. You got to chill. Who named her Lola? I don't know. You? Maybe I had that song in my head. Lola. So this is Lola, la, 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 super Lola. exclusive for the menace. Oh, it's hang. <laughs> Does he, hang on, dude. This is uh, this is complete bullshit. Doesn't even say my name on it. Well, you know, times are tough. <laughs> Doesn't even times are tough. Yeah. Usually when I come to G Fuel, there's a when I get a box, it says menace on it. You should you should like appreciate me more. No. I didn't have to do this. You could write menace on it if you want. <laughs> Wait, Lola's in the sewer. Is that 
turn away. Dude, Dennis you fooled you. Oh, what what do you what was like invisible fooled you. ink? Fooled you. All right, so we're in here. Oh so wow. Can you just oh, do you need a can opener for that? Wow. Oh man. Because I got, iced me. Okay. Is wow. this a congratulations for his new job? This is wow. this is a big congratulations. Ooh. For the new job. <sighs> just for just for the just for Denver Mew. How's my position? It's a good uh, position. Th thigh's looking nice. Look at that. It's blue. I don't, is this blue? Yeah, it's it's a. <laughs> Atta boy. Like a champ. <laughs> that was good. But I do have uh, some cans for us. Uh, a booze? Would you guys like to crack a can? Yeah. All right. Big. A legit can. Big can guy legit over here. Can. Wow, that was great, Sal. That was good, right? Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> that was really. Did you know that, Sal? Or no, no, I have no idea that was coming. Wow, I love I that thought, Sal just had a booby trap. I thought it was going to be an RTD. What's coming now? Yeah, it was pretty good. Wow, are you impressed by how fa quickly I took that down and all? Holy shit! Like I feel like Sal just gave us something. We need to have in studio guests and be like, "There's a gift under your chair." Wow, wow. Thank you, Sal. Yeah. Thank you for that one. That was great. Uh oh, someone might be breaking in. Lola's trying to bite him. No, fucking. He opened the door, didn't he? Or yeah. closed the door? I was joking. Trying to make Lola seem like <laughs> a gangster, you were like, nah, she's not doing shit. No, she definitely would bite somebody. I feel she's a fucking stray dog. Yeah. Can light. What is Ooh. this? Put it Ooh. on. Put it on my camera, dude. Ooh. Go Can right into light. that. Go right into that, Dennis. Oh, okay. Here we go. So this is new. What's that new new? Um, so, so all right, Sal, the floor is yours. Tell us about what you just handed me, dude. All right. So <clears throat> we've been talking about this for a long time, but yeah, the times weren't right, and now they are. So this is our new product, similar to the formula that was in the powder, a little bit different, but same purpose, right? It's still a sugar-free energy drink, right? So um, the biggest thing is, is being sugar-free because when you have sugar and caffeine combined, you're spiking your insulin. You're setting yourself up for a big crash. So this is sugar-free, gluten-free, zero calories. It has a new antioxidant complex in it, which is the new uh, S7 brand antioxidant. All right, let me interrupt, interrupt you. Oh, I was going to say, why don't uh, we all do it together? kale, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me and Sal vitamins. Uno, dos, tres. Cheers. So I want you guys. So organic, good to finally have you here, Sal. Organic you. first taste Full here. Full transparent feedback. This, Go ahead. This is, what color is this? This is blue. Blue ice. Wow. So I put it in the freezer, and I think mm. mine froze a little. Did, you, did yours? Yeah, so did mine, but that is. Hang on. The, the Being frozen took away a little carbonation, no? It might have. I put it in the freezer only like 30 minutes ago, so... I'm impressed. This is pretty good. So we can let it sit for a little bit. Yeah. How do you like it, though? I'm into it. And now, one of these dropping. So... They dropped, and I think they are already sold out. No. Did they? So there was, a, there was a, like, a leak. Yeah, they didn't officially drop. Team I noticed Star, that. like, leaked the uh, landing page, and it sold out. Uh, but they will be... How Dropping fast? Again, how fast did it sell out? Really fast. How soon till someone noticed that they were being sold and like someone realized there was a leak? As soon as, as soon as, came like tweeted it out, it just it went it went pretty <laughs> viral, <laughs> pretty quickly. And then uh, no, I'm a little. We'll, no, I'm we'll a little... be officially launching uh, though uh, next week. Is it the fifteenth? I think. Yeah. You know what we need for dude. Our... I'm super pissed that this froze so quickly. Yeah, I need two. What are you gonna do next time so I can slam them like Stone Cold? Oh yeah. That's my real goal. Yeah, yeah, we'll do something. We'll do something really good like that. I will shave my head for that. It tastes really good though, right? Yeah, or I'll yeah. get a bold cap and do like a whole Stone Cold bit, and I'll just be like, I'll go like this to you, Sal, and you'll toss me a. Remember how he used to get tossed the beers? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do Dude, one of those. he never missed. He missed a couple times. I would have, but he missed like after he chugged. My three ratio or four. of catching those beers after like beating up the Undertaker or something. Would be like terrible. I yeah. would not. No, be yeah, he caught a lot. He made it look so easy too. Somebody would toss it to be like flying with beer everywhere. Just boom, boom, crack, drink. Yeah, 
Here we should go. try and get Stone Cold on the show for sure. Oh, I would fucking die to get Stone Cold. I got on. I got the contact. Ooh, actually, yes. Yeah, Sal probably has endless oh, contacts. WWE plug right there. Yep. Yeah. I keep that shaker for good luck, actually. That's so like our... G Fuel that works with uh, WWE. Yeah, 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 we do. They're actually awesome to work with. Yeah. My uh, my main I... contact there, coolest dude ever. He's always hooking it up with tickets and I. Yeah, you I, you took me to like when you first started working with them. You took me to a, a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, when I was a kid. I was a huge like WCW and WWE fan. Yeah, um, I still call it WWF. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I slip sometimes as well. I don't. I hate. You know, I'm WWF. just. I'm so mad. The I'm world, mad too. But the world. What is this? The world wildlife. Yeah. Well, we can't say anything Federation. about them no. because it's it's animals. Everybody. Loves no, animals. just listen. So are so are the WWE guys. They're animals too, dude. That's true. Good point. <clears throat> You know? That's a good point, but Mammals. I was a huge fan, and I maybe went to like one event that wasn't like televised or anything. My kids have been to WrestleMania, Royal Rumble. Yeah, they're living Damn. the dream. Yeah. Now, do they like? Because I remember watching it religiously, like Monday Night Raw and then Thursday Night SmackDown, and like Dad, like can we go? And like my stepmom was like pretty close one time to like pulling the trigger. Yeah. But never went down. Yeah, yeah. I was oh, man. Like I think I, like, I was getting ready to like, um. Write uh, like up a fucking sign. Like I did you, my you, signs. You jabroni. Me, and my, me and my cousin were like downstairs at his house before the first uh, event we went to. Up all night making signs. Damn, how many signs <laughs> did you make? Dude, I had glitter on my signs. Wow, I went all out. I made, we made maybe like ten, but we brought like two. The rest just got. That's amazing. In our room. But so the other thing about these cans, just a warning. They are definitely like twice as powerful as the normal G Fuel powder. Ooh. So this I, is 300? I, was I gonna, drank one I the was other day and I was ready difference? to run a marathon. So the caffeine content is actually doubles 300 milligrams caffeine in the can. Okay. Um, and the carbonation, ah, and I don't want to say the wrong thing, but I'm pretty sure the carbonation actually helps you. Absorb stuff a little bit better. It is very pungent, like with the sweetness, though. I have, I do notice that. Yeah. So there, there'll be different flavors that some are a little more sweet than the other. So right. now, did they all drop, or are they all in no, production we, yet? We launched with blue ice, rainbow sherbet, sour cherry, and yeah, um, I want that sour cherry and phaseberry. Sour cherry is my favorite G Fuel flavor. It's so good. Ugh. the can is really good too. Yeah. Now, were those to, the best? Can't wait selling, to get my lips on it. Were those the top selling powders? Yeah. That's why you guys. They're top sellers for sure. There's other ones too. Some of sometimes they vary depending on you know product drops. But so these, now these are all solid. Blue Ice has been solid. You would know this answer because we've said it a few times, and me and Dennis have no idea how many flavors of actual powder G Fuel are there now. Oh man, I think we've dropped thirty two or thirty three. We're dropping like two a month now. So you know what we're trying to get? We're trying to get the Menace and the Man flavor, and at worst case, we'll get the that. Menace flavor. What That's what that we got to build like? up to. Ball sweat, maybe I don't know. Lola. Something, something, yeah, something nasty. Ball L- sweat. Lola poo. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you, Lola you can go. No, it'd be sweet. It'd be like Some lemonade. Kind or of something. Like you could take like Bermuda's Bermuda esque. Yeah, something tropical. You could go that route. I would or try like to go the Bermuda Rico. brew. I would try to go yeah. the menace route. Tastes like beer. Where your can is the one with a little bit extra sugar than all the other ones, or something Ooh. like that. Has a little more. Bite, get it? Because of your logo. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I'm the, and then you can the do the commercial. Like, I'm the flavor. menace. You want to be bouncing off the fucking walls? Drink my little, flavor. A little G-fuel. bite to it. A little too spicy. Yeah, <sighs> that's what we, we got. We might work actually on. have something spicy coming down. You the, know what? In road. the comments, whether you're watching this on YouTube, whether you're watching this on on Twitch, uh, where else? You know, where is the Facebook. Right Twitch, where, right? yeah. Twitch. Like, yeah, but this will be up. Like. It'll be a drop. If the menace had his own flavor, what flavor would it be? Would and you be? could use Dennis or Bermudez or the menace and or all three. And hey, just... what about Stan? Fuck well, that's Stan. why I said I, we'll what go would menace. Stan in the flavor man? tastes like. I don't know. Fucking generic, like <laughs> standard. <laughs> generic white guy. Uh, yeah. Standard. No, my shit. Like, would what be, standard? My shit would be Maybe sweet. A standard flavor. Like ice. No, just know. ice. <laughs> Water. <laughs> Stand off ice. Whoa. Stand off 
dogs. Dude, I don't know if that dog has dude. his shots, dude. I know. I was just going <laughs> to say, hand Lola it. has been licking and, and biting on my hand. Nah, and that dog's got a good mange, though. She looks pretty clean. Yeah. yeah it is a girl, right? Or did I just assume her gender should, as well? Wow. The gender. Oh, my God. Let's just say this is our- I got to non- work on myself. This is our non-binary <laughs> little hairy, <laughs> our non-binary furry friend. Okay. 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 Because that is the thing. I actually took a survey today. It said male, female, or non-binary. Stop. Yep. That's what for your for you for you? No, no, no. It was a random survey I took online. For Yeah, I'm saying for you. Those were oh, your yeah, results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was We're allowed me. to go there. Like what are your thoughts on that kind of stuff? I don't, I don't want to get into that. It's okay. A controversial topic. Yeah, but we doesn't like matter what it doesn't wor- matter what my answer is though, because there'll be somebody on the opposite side right. not pleased with my answer. So whatever. I stay I don't like to get involved. With Eventually that's what we want to get into though here, Sal. We want to push the boundaries. And well, push in the my head, in terms of the be- restroom, if you pee out of a penis, you go to the men's room, whether you're a woman or not. You could be a woman and you have a penis, you pee in the men's room. And if you have a vagina, you pee in a woman's room. That's it. So, I mean, I know what I identify as, right? I I do believe that there could be people out there that register differently in their mind. Everybody's right. born. I, yeah, right I under, some, hang on. I get that. But you can. I think they like just you. Want, you took anatomy at some point in your life, and right. you look down between your legs, and you go, "Oh, that is because I learned this in school and science. That is a penis or a vagina, right. and that determines where you go to the bathroom." Yeah, yeah. I think there's people though, you, who have different you, hormones and whatnot. How then, you feel about yourself and how you dress and stuff like that, I that's fine. Maybe they just feel like if so, if you were in a man's body. And you identified mentally as a woman. I am in a man's body. (laughs) And you identified mentally as a woman. And every time you walked into that man's bathroom, you were just like, man, this doesn't feel right. Like the people around me are not like me because I'm in this body, but like I am different. But when I look between my legs and I see a wiener, I'm like, this is where we're, this is where we are the same. It's a pipi. What is Lola barking at out there? Probably hates me. She hates me? Just crack the door, maybe. Can we do that? No, what? And let her out with no one watching her? She's. It's like a little yard out there, no? You're going to lose your stray dog the same way you found it. Whatever. Oh, well, the dogs here go go out there. Yeah. Oh, you're saying out there? Yeah. yeah, right. so, yeah, yeah I guess so you just got to make sure the gate is closed. Yeah. Uh, so who was going to do that? I believe you, Dennis. It was your idea. All right, fuck off. So right when you get back, we'll call up um Dominic Reyes. Wait, so these have definitely like melted down, so they're like legit right now. What do you mean by legit? I think they're legit, whether they're, not, whether they're melted mean, down or not. I mean, not like a solid piece of ice. Why don't you just say it out loud, can you? I put vodka in mine. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm expecting people to do that, right? Yeah. yeah I think that goes without saying. Oh, the best was we had, uh, the last time we had Cliff on, I mean, now Menace got the new job. It was like when we were just chilling before he had Cliff on, we had Cliff tossing back a couple that, and we usually, oh, yeah? uh, we put G fuel in our shakers every week, but mm-hmm. you know how it is every now and then something else slips into your shaker. That's all right. We're all men here. Yeah. Did he just fart in there? I don't know what he's doing in there. Oh, he's putting out. Oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah. That door was sticking a little bit. I don't know what happened there. Probably when they had their party. Are you guys allowed to fart on the show? Mm. You guys fart? I'd rather you didn't because then I can't leave, but... uh, Mine don't smell. I don't believe you. I promise you. My girlfriend can vouch for that. I don't believe you. She There's allows no... me to because they don't smell. So I did that in front of one. I think your one daughter, time. your 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 girl, is a very sweet lady and she's being nice to you. She is. That could be. Yeah. That could be true. But I did it in front of somebody else one time while she was there, and she was like, "No, don't worry. Like they don't smell. It's cool." Well, Menace is on his way back. Do your do your farts smell? Mine don't. Like ever. I'd imagine you're, they do. You're just. Uh... We're gonna have to test this out. Maybe. Next episode, we'll do like a little prune mix. I mean, even that's a thing, Sal. We'll beans. make you a regular if you want to come in every episode. Like I said, I'm, I'm open I mean, for... I, my office is right there. Something I'm noticing a walls is over. a lot of the time we do run into scheduling, and we're always in like either a late time or too early of a time. You guys should do 5 p.m., and then I could just walk over here, hop on for a little before I go hit, hit the gym zone. All right, we ready for Dominic Reyes? Yeah. Okay, let's give him a call. Hey, man. Get out of here. You didn't uh, answer me about your fart. 
Who, me or Dex? No, oh. yeah, my farts smell. They come out of my butthole. Well, mine don't. You're lying. I'm. Where do they come out of? Or you're saying they don't smell. <laughs> that's what you're saying. They come out of my coolie, <laughs> but they don't smell. Okay. They don't. Man, I haven't had Doritos in forever. Why, you been on a diet? Cool Ranch or Nacho? Hello. Dom Reyes. What's up? How are you, my brother? Welcome Dom, back to Menace up, Man. dude? What's up, guys? How you guys doing today? Fucking miss you, dude. I know, man. Are you in Vegas, dude? No. Ah. Uh, Ooh, that sounded were, like though. he was going to invite you to hang out. Are you still in Vegas I know, right I now? No, I just got back uh, yesterday. Oh. How was your weekend away? Shoot. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's where we'll stop. The fans, yeah, yeah the that. fans were amazing. No, you don't stop there. What do you mean? I thought you can't talk about what happened in Vegas. City of city. <laughs> yeah, we can talk about the stuff where the cameras were. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that stuff. <laughs> and we're, uh, the, we're joined in studio fuck. today by our good friend Sal Triolo from G Fuel. What's going What's on, up? man? How's it going, going, Sal? Good, man. How's it going? Fantastic. I think we've actually been meaning to get Dom Reyes some G Fuel. We've got to send him out some. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Some fuel, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, it's an energy drink. They actually just dropped their new, like, ready to drink can. So we're all hopped up in the studio right now, chugging those. Like <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> you know, you drink energy drinks to sit in the chair. You're just going to start fucking shaking. And Dom Reyes, when was the last time you had Doritos? Doritos? Yeah. Right after my fight in London, actually. Are you a Cool Ranch guy or Nacho? Ooh. Cool Ranch, man. Yeah. Cool Ranch. I feel like if you're not Cool Ranch, like you can't be trusted. Like <laughs> I, I, I like Nacho. I like Nacho, but like you can't compare them. Cool Ranch is it's so good. Yeah, but Nacho is good too. It is. I'm not saying it's not, but like if you had to choose, gun to your head. What are you going? Right, right. I'm always going Cool Ranch, but cool so, ranch. sometimes cool ranch you're a normal person. Sometimes the nachos, like a, you know, when you get it, it's random. You're like, you know what? I'll take a nacho. Have you guys had the flaming hot uh, nacho ones? Yeah, I've had the flaming hot Cheetos. They have a flaming hot Dorito. I, I nacho need that. cheese. I love anything. It's spicy. so good. <laughs> Is that what you had spicy. after your fight? In That's London? what I had, man. Oh wow. The flaming hot. Doritos. Wait, that we should we should do that on one of your shows. One of those spicy chow. You know that place Texicana Cafe right next to Belmore Kickboxing. Okay. They have a Diablo challenge. It's like twelve wings. You got forty five minutes to do it, and it's like the chef like marinates them in like ghost peppers and all kinds of stuff, and it's like insane. But... Have you ever done any eating challenges before, Dom? Oh, I only did a, a, a hot wing challenge, but it wasn't like a like a like hot hot. It was like a quantity. Oh. oh wow, that's that's an eating yeah. challenge. Yeah. Yeah. So how many did you do? I did uh seventy five wings in thirty five oh. minutes. That's, Ooh, that's, that's impressive. a lot of wings. That's impressive. He's a big guy. Wow. Have you ever I, <laughs> bone in? Have you ever drank? Bone in. Have you ever drank lemon juice? <laughs> I was, I was just going to segue into that. I yes. seen that one, dude. I seen you do that one. I was, oh, man. I love lemon juice, but that looked terrible. Wait, that was one of the greatest days of my oh, life. Oh, so so I was I, I had gone with Sal to dinner afterwards, and I left the table like four times. Oh, where, Yeah, where, what do you eat after that? How can you even eat? We went to Del Frisco's Double Acid. Eagle Steakhouse, right? Yeah. It's a diuretic. That was great. The best thing about that video, though, is when Menace does it. He's like, good. And the guy's like, yep, you're good. And then he just turns around and starts projectile vomiting. <laughs> Wait, nobody expected him to win that. Cause he, he was brought in as he was a ringer, though. Furious Pete was there. He's like wins like all these things. All professional. The time. How many professional athletes were in the room, though? His just, competitive just nature. Just Yeah, yeah that's and, it. He's, and he's Latin as well. So yep. lemons and limes. Grew up um, on that. What, what, what ethnicity are you again? I'm left. Mexican. 100. Not 100. Uh, Mexican, uh, French, and Italian. So that's why you like those spicy... Um... Lemon Doritos. Those spicy Doritos. Yeah. yeah, man. I grew up in California. Yep, right Everything's kind of spicy over here. Where in Cali? Uh, I'm from the desert. Uh, I'm from Victorville. Oh, Victorville. Joe Daddy. Yeah, man. Oh, that's my, that's my, uh, oh, no. my coach. Oh, no way. <laughs> Dude, tell Joe Daddy I said I love him and I miss him. That is my guy right there. Tell him your right? name. Tell him your name. Yeah, tell I, him Sal from G Fuel misses him. Dude, Joe, right, Joe is one Sal. of my favorite people like ever. Like I, 
he's he's the man i really he's a man dude i literally love joe like he's literally so like I family about bro. that yeah. yeah man he's he's he was one of the gamma labs g fuel ogs like going way back but like i went to victorville one time to film something with him and he literally just like hosted me around for like the full week we were hanging out with um what's his name from that show kingdom um oh yeah um joan bro joan uh not jonas the guy frank the other frank the the black i know the actor's name i don't know his stage name um man if you said it i would know it but he was really cool dude too and man joe is just he's the man i remember i'll tell him you said hi man i'm sure he'll be happy to hear G Fuel brought him to Long Island one time, and he was in Lima. Super nice guy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. They did um him and uh, Laflair were doing. And like, he a did like a video together. with Loro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, with Loro as well. Yeah. Yeah. Did you train with him at all when he came in, Dennis? No, I wasn't there. I was away. Uh, away making moves. So Dom, you were in Vegas this weekend. UFC 239. Huge, yep. f- huge fight for you in your life. The uh, Santos John Jones fight. How'd you score that one? Uh. Honestly, man, I scored it uh, one, two, and five for Tiago. Yeah, wow. I, I'm seeing yeah. a lot of debate on that. It was a very. It wow. comes down to round two, right? It, it was close, man. Yeah, round two was the round one because it's like the biggest thing right now. I guess. Yeah, because Jones kind of pulled off the trigger in five. He let off the throttle, but and even, Tiago was like was like, "This is my chance," and he went for it. When you look at the even actual scorecards, it makes you wonder what the fuck were the judges watching? Some judges, two of the judges, I believe, gave him the fifth round, Jones. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, that's in crazy. terms of uh, like the critical strikes and stuff, though, Jones won that. Um, mm-hmm. Except for one, one of the categories. Like really... I remember, they showed the. I thought he was losing the second round, and then they showed the statistics toward the end of the it. Stats. They, yeah, they both had landed nine and nine, and I was like, oh, I think Santos mm-hmm. is landing the harder yeah. shots right now. I mean, well, I think what was happening was Jones was landing the more more kicks, cleaner kicks, but then every time they would gauge with hands, Tiago would win with the hands. And Tiago had his back to the cage for most of the fight. So, yeah, Jones was the aggressor the yeah. whole time. Mm-hmm. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't think he ever looked in trouble. There were times where Tiago was coming at him and there I were bombs. And you could tell Jones backed up and respected like his power, but he never looked threatened. Iron chin on John Jones. That's part of it, too. Also, I mean, look at the guys he's fought. He's not. He, his mental game is going to be super strong. So crazy to see, too. You saw the news on... Thiago Santos, he yeah, like blew his, his knee, home. ACL, MCL, and what was the other? They said he broke PCL. his tibia, that he had a fracture in his tibia. PCL meniscus. PCL. I didn't even know there was a PCL. What the hell is that? Every ligament in his knee is torn. Yeah. Yeah. I, so crazy. I, I, mean, I tore my MCL and sprained my ACL in a wrestling match in high school, and I remember not even, dude. I tried to like stand on it, and I just wobbled. This guy fought five rounds with that. That well, is even Dana insane. White posted that the yeah, UFC well, doctor said that he broke, fractured his tibia yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So I did that. I did that against. Um, well, you fractured your fibula, nuts. fibula from getting the. the calf oh kick. right! So oh, the he, tibula. He the broke big the one. big bone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was standing on a kick with his. <laughs> fucking crazy! You only get one shot, guys. That's adrenaline too. Now, um, yeah. Dom, what are your thoughts on? You're the title holder. Like, you have to take the title. Yes. The classic, you got to dethrone the champ, put his head on a spike. Yeah. But also, I wonder what that is with scoring criteria. So when it's close, the champ wins. Usually, yeah. But, I mean, how? Like, is that when it's a close round, you go, oh, well, he's the champion. You know, is that how it gets judged? Well, that's what I'm asking Dom. That's Mm -hmm. That's a tough one. So, I think it depends on an individual judge, but, I mean... If it's a close round, you're like, well, I don't really know. I, I think you just go with the champ. Yeah, I think there's other variables that, like, aside from this, like, the aggressor, right? Did did he ever look like he could have lost if they went another five rounds? You know, was he out mm. of gas completely in round five? Did it look like Tia- if it went to round six, like Tiago would have just took him out? I think all those things come into play when you're a judge and you're thinking. Well, like, now, great conversation we could segue into. What What do you think they should do with the judging? Because me and Dennis always talk about it. That I think they need more oh, yeah. judges, right? Oh, well, with that, yeah. I think the whole judging system needs to be restructured a little bit. I, I mean, think and how? Just, yeah, how is the question? Yeah, that's the real. <laughs> yeah, question. yeah. It's like it's like it's like I want to make a million dollars. Okay, well, how are you gonna do it? Well, <laughs> well, get some know. money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You don't see like you know like in wrestling they bang you for stalling like you don't see too much warning in MMA with 
stalling and aggressing. Like if you're not, if you're pride, like, they did that. Right. So like if we were, if you were in a wrestling match and you took a shot, and then you're up, and the other guy didn't take a shot for the rest of the round. Like he's getting banged and he's getting warned. Like if you are, if you're John Jones and you're aggressing the whole time, and um, the other guy is just not pushing the pace or whatever, well, maybe they get a warning to like move forward. Like I, I don't know. I, I'm... how about how about we define aggression first? I yeah. mean, just because you're in my face doesn't mean you're aggressive. You're not. He wasn't doing anything a lot right. of the time. He was in his face, making Tiago get nervous. But he wasn't throwing. He throwing, threw yeah. maybe he wasn't like throwing ten, many. maybe in, twenty punches the whole fight. In my yeah. head, if you're owning the center of the octagon and you're moving forward, you're the aggressor. Right. Yeah. I think there has to be some things in there too that say like, how many significant strikes are you throwing? Like, are you just jabbing? But what's a significant? Right. That's a whole conversation too. Yeah. yeah like, are you, know, you trying to what's do damage? Yeah. Are you trying to Dom, kick, kicks Dom. are significant? Dom, I mean, yeah. They hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the thing is, like, Dom, you've been molly whopped and like, okay, like, or like, or you blocked a kick and it made this slap that sounds yeah. way louder than it actually True. was. Like, I've definitely been like hit and it was like made the smacking noise. In the crowd were like, oh, Ooh, and I was like, and you're like, that didn't even hurt, dude. I'm straight. <laughs> Right. I'm, I'm great. Or, or like a head kick when you clearly see they blocked it, yeah. but the crowd is still going nuts. From yeah. Well, me and Menace talk True. about this sometimes too. When guys get hit with something and then they shake their head no, sometimes that's oh. really it didn't affect them. Yeah. Right? No. No. Yeah. Fuck that. If you get hit and you shake your head no, it fucking. It I think fucks it goes both you. ways. Every uh, time. I think yeah. it's like a 50 50 thing. I think it's 50 50. Sometimes it's like that was, that was a good punch, but it didn't hurt. Like, or that kind of hurt. Good job. Well, no. For me, I think it's them going like. Yeah, you think that hurt me? Like I could take that old. It's, I think it's a mental game. I, I think I don't think it's. It's. Uh, I think you're right. Not wrong. Yeah. I think you're right. Cause I like I've been molly whopped, and I'm actually not. I feel like you're kind of a douchebag. You're like, nope, didn't hurt. Like, okay, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like. All right, dude. <laughs> I will actually nod yes. Like, was, okay, yes, it did. Just that was shit. Like, good shit, bro. Yo, that dude, hurt. Dude, if you tag me, I'll shake my head yes, and I'll get this like sinister grin. Like, yeah. <laughs> Get on top. It's on now. Lo- hang on. It's actually, on now. Actually loved it. Actually loved it. Now I'm going to fuck you up. And then you get on top of me. Like, admit it. Admit that it hurt in round one. <laughs> admit in round one that it hurt. Uh, so now watching that fight, did you see anything that Dom Reyes could possibly exploit when he gets that John Jones fight? There's always something to be exploited. Mm-hmm. But, uh, what it is is that's part of the secret, the secret formula. So now, have you had any word on your next potential fight, or is it now a waiting game for you? What do you think? Uh, something's gonna come out here soon. Oh, so you'll have some news dropping soon. Try it. Mm-hmm. What do we What are we thinking? Corey Anderson or something? We'll see. You yeah. all see. I feel like <laughs> that's almost what the UFC needs to do. Is maybe the only person other than you who could even possibly be in line for a shot at Jones as Corey Anderson. So I agree. I agree with that. Yeah. So maybe you two fight September and then maybe the winner fights Jones in December. Or there's something else in the works. Ooh, okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. Let us it's going to come out soon. So Dude, you know, can you just give us we'll leak it? Leak it here on Menace no, we're, and the Man. We're, we're trying to build our following. <laughs> give them we, something won't, we won't actually drop like, – the only way people will know is if they watch the show, but we'll put it on our social media after you leak it. Dennis actually I, has I've, a tweet. I've agreed to right a now. fight already. Verbal verbal agreement. No, verbal agreement. No, when it's a verbal, it's going it, down. Is this guy in the top ten? Yes. Yes. Is Does he, he have blonde 21 hair? questions. Are we playing 21 yeah, questions? Yeah, 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 yeah. 21 <laughs> questions. 21 questions. <laughs> 21 questions. Oh, oh man. <laughs> We'll, we'll just leave it at he's at the top ten. It's like a game, we'll no. a does game he have, of guess who. Does he have dirty blonde hair? Does he have dirty blonde Is he a 205er? Yes. <laughs> yes. So now I heard you talk Is a little bit. Is he from bit. Sweden? <laughs> well, here, I've heard him talk about these two things. He, he's <laughs> from uh, a, a European country. So Does what? his last name start with a G? No, he's retired. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. If anything, it might be Blahovich. The one who just beat Rockhold. Oh, wow. But even then, I mean, does he springboard? I feel like that's a, you know, if you beat, I guess I mean, if, he was, if Reyes He was on a 5-5 five, five winning streak Yeah, so before if, Thiago knocked him out. Yeah, so if you beat him, that's a title shot for you. But then if he happens to be victorious against you, I don't know if that's a title shot for him. 
Hmm. Nah, I would think it would be. Would it be? Yeah, dude. Dom Reyes is the fucking deal, dude. Yeah, but you know what I mean. He just lost to Santos. I guess that's kind of how it works. Like, even you could look at Askren. He's not that far out of the race with that because he's still in the top five. Yeah, if you're... Really? Askren's still in the top five? He should be. Why? You think that he should drop significantly from that loss? I don't think significantly, but... I don't even know who the top five of the middleweight. I mean, all two weight is to be honest. Yeah, we're talking uh, light heavyweight right now. But I, even an example I would use is like Aljamain. Remember, Aljamain lost to Marlon Marais, and now he's about to fight for the title. Mm-hmm. You know, True. losing the way Askren lost isn't always a death sentence to your career. You right. Can- yeah, right. They, yeah. They it, didn't get the same. Right. Like, I tell you what, it's yeah. better off to lose like that than it is to get beat up and lose a decision mm-hmm. for 15 minutes. Hundred percent. Oh, so yes. your sp- your split losses, you would have took that instead. The way Askren hang was. On. Not for the not for your life long your longevity. Split, hang but. on, my split <laughs> my split losses, I fucking should have won them. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So instead of them reading the other guys. No, the no, winner, no, no, no. I'm saying not a split loss. I'm saying a unanimous decision right. where you got beat yeah, up for worse. fifteen minutes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Way worse. I would rather That's the like, worst way to lose. Yeah, that's that's much worse than fucking getting, getting knocked, knocked out, out in four. five seconds. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. So now yeah. I heard you talking the other day that you almost got Chris Weidman, right? Yes. And what happened to that one? Why'd that one fall through? Oh, I think he was injured. He got hurt or something like that. Yeah, he's o- he's always hurt. Oh, no, they call. I say yes, and then they call and say, well, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so what? Now you, know you, it goes. you passed up on the Rockhold fight or Rockhold didn't want you? I agreed to Rockhold. I agreed to Weidman. I agreed to Corey. I agreed to everyone. Yeah. Wow. So were they scared? <laughs> but then they called back and said, well, never mind. They said no, or this happened or something. Do you have a date possibly for this return for your next one? Uh, I want to say yes, but I don't know what the... What the no, give us uh, a month. All right. I'll just, I'll just say uh, maybe August. So po- oh, damn. So possibly right August. The corner. All right, so in the summertime, we'll say. Mm-hmm. Still in the summertime, he's going to get his next fight. Yes. I like yes. that, though, because that sets you up for a perfect timeline to be ready for Jones in December. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Wow. Yep. Yeah, he, yeah they said, he said he's already gunning for December, right? The story is, yo, the fairy tale's unwinding for you, my friend. I like it. I know, man. I know. The stars are lining up. I'm actually wearing a starred tank top. <laughs> and what did you just drink before? <laughs> Uh, the exclusive the limited exclusive edition limited Smirnoff edition. Ice red, white, and cherry. So star. let me just hang on. So, Stars, Dom, man. so Dom, I have a this guest. The universe. I, I have a guest come in, right? I'm like, hey, what's up? He's like, yo, I got a gift for Dennis. He hands me a blank box. I'm like, yo, this is bullshit. Because when I come to G Fuel, my name's on the box. He writes my name on the box. I'm like, well, that doesn't mean. Whatever. So this is bullshit. Yeah. So I open the box, and he had a Smirnoff in it. Oh, oh God! It's fucking Molly Wapping on my ice own live. show. On your own show, on in a, a nice show. package. Well, it was just a plain James. We got to get that clipped. It was just a plain James brown box. <laughs> plain box. It had your name on it and everything. What it do you mean? No. First of all, that box didn't even have. It damaged. was written on it. Yeah, I had to tell him to do it. <laughs> no, no, you you have no proof. You have no proof. Also, this, bo- this box is brand new, crisp, no nah, damages. No, nah, it is a. Vi- it's like a crisp dollar bill, but a box. We're gonna reuse yeah, that nice, box to nice send box. Dom Reyes some G Fuel. Whoa! Yeah, yeah cross my go. name out and put. We could leave the D. <laughs> Just put Dom. Yeah. Just put Dom. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna leave the D. <laughs> we leave- we're gonna we're gonna cross <laughs> out E N N I S and put O M. Actually, <laughs> actually, let's connect the let's connect the N's to make an M, and put an O. Oh yeah. Oh, wait, I already crossed, but look, we can you do that. You idiots! We're gonna send Joe Stevenson <laughs> some uh, G fuel as well. He yeah. might be low. Heck yeah! I'm sure, he would appreciate that for sure. So now, if possibly, you might be fighting Juan Blahovich. You, wa- I'm sure you watched the Rockhold Blahovich fight as well, right? Mm-hmm. What'd you yeah, think of that? Yeah, he was there, you ninny. Yeah, but you know, yeah. at the fights, you don't always get to watch every fight. Sometimes you're politicking, uh, moving around. I'm not no. missing that one. I was politicking at the time, and then that flight came came on. I just ditch everyone but yeah I, I watched it very intently all right i like that eye on the prize you figured one of them would be possibly your next opponent 
or an opponent one day. Any yeah. fight in light heavyweight, any guy I could be fighting one day. Now, I plan Dom. I'm in the company for a minute. So, Dom, when I, while I was fighting, I'd be at home on my couch. Somebody, mm-hmm. an uprising guy, somebody close to my rank would come on the television and fight. I my body could not help but start to kind of like shake even like and sweat a little bit sweaty palms yeah this happens <laughs> yeah. to you every time annoying every time. how annoying is that so annoying yeah you and you you're, you're, you're like convi- an adrenaline rush you're like damn man you're I'm just convinc- trying to watch this fight <laughs> yeah you're you're convincing yourself like hey you're not even in the arena it's okay calm down relax just enjoy the fight and like no your body's that's, like no go that's time natural. I feel like that's no. natural yeah you need you need to pay attention man <laughs> and then, <laughs> hang, like on, or not. hang on and then times that by two when you're in the arena oh when, yeah wouldn't you say yeah the Jones fight bro I was oh, it felt like I was in there man even worse it felt like I was cornering. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the worst. Like the most nervous you could ever be is when you corner someone you care about, right? Oh, it's horrible. Yeah, that yeah. does suck. It's the worst. That's, that's a tough one. Even, yeah. I'm sure, Dom, as you've been in the game, you can become friends with guys. Like I used to be, my hands sweat when I watch Ryan LaFlair, Dennis Bermudez, or Chris Wade fight. My hands would always be like. Oh, man. And you Any... ever see the Chuck Liddell? I would do like the Chuck Liddell, like sitting back in my chair. Anytime and... I watch the guys from Long Island fight, especially De- Dude, Dennis woke up my children so many times. <laughs> in the house, screaming oh. my lungs. Yeah. I, I did it. Go on! <laughs> he did it. I, I yelled inside my your house. My kids come out like, is Dad, 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 Dad dying? What is they're happening? crying. Dad, are you okay? <laughs> Get back in your room! <laughs> or you're next! Dennis actually you're was next. easier to watch, though, too. Because Dennis would like bounce face first off the mat, get up, and it wouldn't. he'd be like, oh, no, he's all right. He's good, yeah, he's good. It's oh. just such a nerve racking thing to watch anybody you know fight i don't know i mean yep. the best yep. hand in mma and one of the best poker faces dennis bermudez yeah 100 percent. not not being biased or anything because i i know you den but man i loved watching you fight it thank was you. awesome thank you, you always put on good fights hang on hang on enough what about me you? enough That's about true. me have you seen don reyes fight i have very yeah. impressive <laughs> undefeated you're, right you're a legend though dom dom what different. size cup do you wear Ooh. I wear an extra large cup. Can nice. I tell you something about me? What about you? I wear a um, a a teen large. <laughs> what? Yep. Why? Just because I don't. Because the thing is, because you know when like guys come out with that bowls. I've been around too many girls watching me fights. Who are like, dude, look at this guy with his huge bowls. Like he his piece probably isn't even that big. And like he's trying like he's trying to, like fucking like. Try so you say, wear a small one? I wear no, I wear a small one, so it just looks like I'm look normal in my shorts. You've seen smaller guys Meanwhile, with like a humongous Yeah, shirt. that's true. I've seen smaller guys with like an XL. Yeah, like, like dude. I'm proportionate. Like Also, also, dude, I'm an XL I want, person. Hang on, I want all that I want all my stuff like tight. I was gonna say that, that what if what if that worked against you though? They're yeah. like Dennis Bermuda is the smallest people. It all fits in there? No, <laughs> you're just like he he's he just bulging out. Hang on, you don't even notice I have Wait, a cup on so, when I fight, I think, right? So, bro, that's was, dangerous. What if what if one of your one when your balls pops out, bro, and then gets well. The thing is, cup. I don't. Do you spar with a cup on? Uh, no. Me either. I should, but I don't. Me, I'm I idiot. I never have. But people, you have kids, don't you? Yeah. Menace I don't have so kids. Good. I'm fucking up, dude. Menace nah, took this interview true. sideways. Now we're talking about fighters' bulges. Well, no, because <laughs> like, size. hang on, like, I I've, I've probably been kicked in the nuts. I don't know, eight times sparring throughout ten years, or maybe ten. Maybe one of yeah. you. I just like heard that. I just heard Dom Reyes call Dennis Bermuda as a legend, and then Menace's comeback to that was Dom. What size cup you wearing? Yeah. <laughs> well, he was being you know Something's he was just being he was being magic. Nice. Well, I was being honest. Yeah. Wait, and, uh, so, <laughs> hang on, where was I going with it? I was going somewhere good. You, with you wear a team you, large. You don't get hit large. that often anyway, oh, right. so you're cool with it. Right. And 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 you know. But I'm talking about grappling. You said the ten low blows you got. You were talking about your low. Right. Blows. Right. And like the thing is like. Sometimes I get tagged and I just fucking fight through it. Like, fuck it. Yeah. Or just I'm get, just saying, on. what if you're grappling? Maybe you throw up a triangle. It pops out. And then now you're literally crushing your own ball to finish a triangle. I've never thrown a triangle in my life. <laughs> well, I have tra- right. I have training. But hang on. In a real fight, I would, I would cut that nut off. 
<laughs> for the finish. <laughs> like if it was cutting it off, I'm still I would squeeze right through it. Yeah, naturally. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. I'm different. You got that same spirit in you, uh, Dom. We were talking to Henry hey, Cejudo Mexican. about it. Yeah, you're Mexican. You got it in you. That's funny. Yeah, man. Wait, so it I is know. what it is. So I tell you what, I'm pretty revved up on this G Fuel right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm ready I to bounce you to a fucking it's, wall. Yeah. That's I what it is. Mine, it's and... the G Fuel. It's so, fucking crazy. <laughs> G Fuel and the truth. Side note, when I was in middle school, there was a kid on my wrestling team that used to pack his singlet with socks. His older brother like dared him to do it one time, yeah. and he did it every match, and it was like the funniest thing. He would stuff it with at least like 30 socks, and it would go down his leg. Wow. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. And he, he was like, he wasn't like muscular. And he was like one of those dorky kids that didn't take wrestling seriously. He was yeah. just doing it to like do it. Yeah. So he'd walk out like loud and proud with this just giant stuffed package. And it was great. It was hilarious. Wow. Uh, I wonder if that worked that. for him. Like if a girl saw that and was like, damn. Work. I mean, it worked on me. See, they, it worked because that kid's a legend now. Look at yeah, that. You're Definitely. still telling stories oh, about I, him. I, I... I saw a meme the other day. This dude had shorts on, and he draw he drew like the end of like a penis on his leg, and on the end of his leg is like, "Ladies, if you're gonna keep drawing on eyebrows, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the, I'm gonna keep doing this." <laughs> I like. That. Hey, that hey that that kind of like gender equality right there. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people were asking me, why does Menace wear such short shorts every episode? We had like three episodes in a row where you came after the beach, oh. and you just had on like underwear, basically. Well, the like, thing is, I read the time you wore those to the beach during uh, beach volleyball oh, last summer. Oh my, no, oh my gosh, this is real. <laughs> so, Sal, Sal, you could tell the story, and I'll add in. So, wait, what was the first interaction, though? All right, was so it I'll, the start this, I'll, I'll start yeah, the yeah, story. All right, all right. So... My buddy Sal is always being like gay funny, if you will, with me. I don't know. Okay. Push, push know the boundary. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah, I, yeah. you know, whatever. I play college football. I know what's up. Boys yeah. will be boys. <laughs> yeah. So I have these pretty short, uh, they're, they're like five inch um, swimming trunks made by Diesel. And I don't okay. wear them often because they're very short. <laughs> and I was like, oh, man. Sal. Very European. Yeah, they were red very, too, right? Very European. Red and like pink even. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm like, dude, <laughs> Sal will get a fucking kick out of this if I wear these, right? <laughs> so I come to the, the – I show up in these uh, four-inch inseam. Yeah, this was a, for a volleyball league. Volleyball in the league, at the right? Beach. <laughs> I was getting ready – hang on. I was getting ready for a fight, so I was ripped out of my you mind. Were, you, you were also super tan. Super tan. Super smooth. Ripped out of my mind. Body shaven. So how you normally look. Yeah. yeah, how you normally look, yeah. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, nah, but this is on a street, right? So we play volleyball. I'm obviously myself outgoing. I'm fucking crushing it. I think we lost, whatever. We're walking to the parking lot, right? And I'm with my buddy Sal, who's next to me right now. And this guy goes, hey, like, nice bod. And I was like. Yes, he said, he said nice. He like, said sick nice. bod. And I was like. Is uh, it bod, like bod man? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. That's what he, yeah. And I was, I was just like. I, I, you know, thanks. And I was like, man, I don't think that's one thing that one dude should say to another dude. Yeah, you really? kept walking towards the car. <laughs> so I kept, the car. I kept walking, and like I look back, and this guy's kind of he turned around. We were walking opposite directions when he said it to wait, me. Wait, I, I got it from here. Okay, <laughs> right, yeah. So he he comes up to the car. Wait, no, no. So I like no, no, no. We're you walking come up to the, to the car. car. We're walking to, to the car, and I look back, and the guy's like. T- changes direction is now Wait, following no, before me. that before that though all right so he comes up to you says sick bod you basically just acknowledge it keep walking you meet me at the car and you're telling me that he what he said to you and i was like no way so my back is turned towards the guy i don't see the guy so i'm like making fun of dennis a little bit and i'm like not making fun of him but i'm like hey dennis i'm like sick god sick dennis bod, dennis starts like like Let's mouthing go. to me like let's go no he's like he's like sal like stop 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 and i'm like ooh dennis you want to be my boyfriend you wanna... he's like sal stop stop all of a sudden i hear the guy nah you me. missed it you missed a lot of things what do you mean so sick bod <laughs> he we're walking in different directions i kind of gave like i told you like hey man the guy like said that to me we're yeah. walking to your car i look back this guy's now following us i'm like sal let's get <laughs> let's pick up speed let's get in the car we get into the car and i'm like all right i'm safe here 
Because he was walking towards our car, and then he saw I got in the car, and he took, like, a hard okay, left yeah. towards his car. I'm in his okay. car, Sandy, and he's like, yo, man, this is my Beamer. Okay. Like, yeah. get out and, like, fucking dust off. I was like, Ugh, fine. You were full of Sandy. So I get out, dust off. Sal's doing what he's saying. <laughs> and next thing, I'm like, Sal, like, stop. And next thing you know, the guy's like, hey, man, like, what what's up? Like... <laughs> oh, um, like I don't know if you got offended by like I was just seeing if you're available or not, and I was like, uh, no. Oh. I'm he asked you out. Yes. You ever see he those movies? Out? He asked you out. He, he asked was like, he's like, he's like, hey man, like I don't know. He's like, are you single? Like, do you want to like go out sometime? Yeah. And are was, you available? I was like, I but am he caught not. me like talking to Dennis, and I just didn't know what to say. I was you ever like, see like those things when the girl's like oh slow motion God. waving her hair yeah. when he was wiping the sand off? The guy was oh, walking yeah. up, and that was slow motion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was like, man, I am definitely sorry. I am not uh, available. The guy's like, all right. I just thought you were cute. I just you know thought I would come and give it a shot. Oh. And then I got in the car, and I was like, this guy. The way I was dressed, <laughs> he was into it. The way I was dressed, the way I was groomed. You, you were in the uniform. Yeah. You know. You know what, dude? That's a compliment, man. Huge I compliment. agree. When we drove if, away, if I've, been, I've been hit on by a guy. Before. I'm like, damn, he he wants my shit, dude. Because because <laughs> he wants my shit. No gay, guy, no gay guys don't like straight guys. They just don't. They have the radar for it. Yeah. yeah. And like, you have to be like well groomed or. You know, like you could definitely be a bear with because you're all hairy and shit like that. Yeah, but, bro. but no, but he would have to be flamboyant slightly, I think, right? Oh, you're trying to say I'm not flamboyant? No, bro, I've had. I fun. honestly have no idea. Uh oh, <laughs> I don't know what the criteria is. Before. Whoa, <laughs> of course I have. Come on, <laughs> I walk out. This is like, whoa, dude. People have thought I was gay before. Like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you say people never thought I was gay? And don't get us wrong. I have a couple. I have a couple of gay friends. I'm all about. Do whatever you want. Whatever makes yeah, you happy. Uh, yeah. Same. Dom. What yeah. about you? You have gay friends? Uh, I do have a few gay friends. Nice. And they're very flamboyant, but they're cool. Dude, hang on. Does a part of you just like, man? Just I just I don't really want to like. I just want to watch you be you. I think you're awesome. Yeah, exactly. I yeah. think you're so like you're it's in- super entertaining. Ugh. You're so good looking. I had to come talk to you. That's what they're basically <sighs> saying to you. Yeah, I was like, why, why, all right. You. Well, Dom Reyes, we're sorry this interview took a very awkward turn. No, he liked it. He liked Dennis it. Started talking it's about all good, the- man. Oh, I enjoy it. talking to you guys about anything. <laughs> no matter. Oh, yeah, like you're that. the man, Dom Reyes. And uh, when you officially announce this next fight, we think we know the opponent. Let's get you back on the show and let's uh, have a little more fun. Yeah, we'll talk yeah. about other things yeah different different good stuff though <laughs> yeah you see we like talking about life a little bit yeah, more than I fighting want, hang on, yeah i want, I yeah, want you to bring something to the table and talk like yo dude you'll never believe what happened to me and i want that story i mean i have them but uh we got to bring them out of them i yeah. might need to be in studio for that yeah. <laughs> wait i like it when you i'm coming... thinking about going to new york in a couple weeks but if i get this fight uh you know what's, really weird? You know what's really weird i've got a, an extra bedroom you do. Yep. He's got a sauna wow. too. Got a sauna, wow. a swimming pool, menace cave. I live. We got a gym you could train at with no I live light heavy weights. Five miles from my gym. Well, what else? What part I of Long Island are you at? Lindenhurst. <laughs> Lindenhurst. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yep. So my buddy's from Lindenhurst getting married, and that's where I'm supposed to go out. Wow. Dude. Dude. Oh, the whoa. universe. Bro. The universe wow. is working out. Do you have a plus one? Wow. I do. Dude. Am I in? Dude. Dude. I, I clean up fucking nice. I got I got a suit guy. You need a suit. Oh, you know my suit yeah. guy. I Reno. Love, I, you know Reno, I, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Wow. Reno and Geo. Is this happening right fashion. now, dude? Yeah. Dude, am I like... It might be happening right now. Well, Dom. I think you, it's happening. You're coming to New York whether or not you book the fight, no? Uh, that, well, If I book the, book the fight, I mean, um. Six weeks out. Oh, okay. He did say August, so that's pretty cutting it close. But if you do right. come to New York, Menace will help set up some training for you, so it won't be any missing your training schedule. Yep. Oh, I'm liking that idea. I'm liking yep. it a lot, actually. And you know this so, guy. He's a legend. He's got a lot of wisdom he could pass on to you, show yeah, you a yeah. few things. Yep. For sure. Show you how to I like to. I like to try to fight like the smaller guys anyway, so it's perfect. Yeah. And, this, you know, Dennis is the all-time takedown leader, right? My, my sauna is a one- to two-person sauna. He's a big guy, though. I, yeah, I like the I like the squeeze. 
<laughs> I like to squeeze. I like that. I like that. <laughs> it helps that, with the heat. It keeps the heat in there. On, that sauna would get hot quickly. Oh yeah. Well, two, two handsome, handsome. Yeah. Latinos. Ooh. Way, way too much. Way too much heat in there. Oof. Spiciness. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> All right, so Dom Reyes, you're the man. Thank you for joining us, and uh, we could keep you all night. We don't want to keep you all night, so we'll let you get out of here. Yeah. And we'll get back to talking about some G Fuel. Yeah, keep it, keep an eye have out a for good that. Night. Keep an eye out for that package coming in the mail. Yes, I sir. will. Uh, Sal, nice talking to you. Nice talking to Likewise, Stan man. and Dennis. I'll be talking to you guys soon. Hopefully, I see you soon, uh, Dennis. Yeah, dude, we're gonna do like we're gonna clean up shop on that dance floor. Oh yeah. Oh, Latino <laughs> yeah, rhythm. Yeah. Holy shit. I already know. Oh. All right, you're the man, Dom Reyes. Talk to you soon. All right, guys. Can't wait. Peace. Actually. Later, man. I feel like the best day of my life is like coming. Why? When he comes to? Oh my god, weddings are great. Imagine I was his date. Now, if I was his date, do I have to chip in for the? Yes. What I get? He yeah. said he had a plus one, so I don't know about if you're going with him. I think he has a girl he's taking with him. Oh, is that, that could that's be interpreted like. two yeah. ways. Is what you're saying. So you asked him if he had a plus one. Yes, he does, but that can also mean like, yeah, I have a plus one that I'm bringing. Oh, maybe right? he doesn't have it sealed yet. Could not be sealed. Could well, be sealed. he went to college at Stony Brook, so he knows Long Island. Oh, nice. He's, yeah. He lived here for a few years. He has a lot of friends here, obviously. He said he has one from Lindenhurst. So if you got a friend from Lindenhurst, I'm sure you got friends all yeah. over Long Island. Lindenhurst is one of those towns you kind of stay away from. I just know? think me over any girl for a wedding day. Oh, for I'd sure. Bring, I'd bring you to a wedding. We'd have a blast. Oh my gosh, you bet your bottom dollar we would. I have good. I have a good time. Are you at calling weddings. somebody else? Once I uh, call Randy Brown. Oh okay. Once they play Michael Jackson, uh, it's over. Uh, I love that. I but I don't know why the thing keeps fucking up when I plug it in. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, I maybe if you weren't so aggressive, Stan. Is it that I'm being aggressive? Maybe. A little finesse, dude. Whoa. There we go. That was Wait, the finesse. Wait, Stan, needed. can I charge my phone now? Yep. What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not doing that intentionally. You jerk. <laughs> Here, plug his phone in. Say you're sorry. I'm sorry, but you're being kind of a dick. All right, so I'll go right here, actually. You're being kind of a dick. <laughs> oh, I think uh, I died. You died uh, completely? Died. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, no. You ninny. Yeah, yeah put, we'll check in with Randy here. Brown. Congratulate him on his recent win. Yeah. I told him 7.45, so we're a few minutes late. But, uh, yeah. Nice. You, I love Dom Reyes. Old. Dom Reyes is a big fan of the oh, show. Big Dom. He's a cool Reyes. dude. And I think, I like how we play 21 questions. I'm pretty sure it's Blahovich, which surprises me. I figured he was going to get Corey Anderson. It definitely, it, uh, yeah. But maybe after, um. He said it without saying it. Yeah. I like that. What would you guys think of that fight? Which fight? <laughs> like, I'm like. Does it start with a G? Mahovich Rockhold. That was a tough <laughs> yeah. one to watch. I like Luke Rockhold. Dude, he just he comes in too cocky. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like he underestimates fighting, his opponent. No, fighting, you got to be slightly well, cocky. Yeah, you got to be super he drops, confident. Drops his hands. Like, I would. I, I think he develops. I do that. I think he develops bad habits. And like when people develop bad habits because they do it in, in the training room and they get away with it. Agreed. You know. And then, you know, and let's say you do get tagged with 16s, like, you're not sleeping. And you're like, I'm good. I think he also, at the point when he got knocked out, he was already rocked from the end of the first round. He got yeah, dropped I with that love head kick. that he ran across the the octagon at the beginning of the second, like, yo, I'm good. He landed you know? a good punch. And then he got, I was like, okay. He, he got yeah, countered, yep, though, yep, yep. right in the start of the second round, too, with a yeah. good punch. So mm -hmm. it was like, already rocked. He got rocked a little more. Yeah. All right, let's try Randy Brown. Look at that. Are you oh, familiar dude. with Randy Brown at all, Sam? I'm pretty sure today's yeah. Randy Brown's birthday. Today was Blau's birthday. No, I'm pretty sure today's Randy Brown's birthday. Let's see what he says. Check that out. Yeah. Randy Brown. Randy Brown, I got a question for you. This is the menace. Hey, what's going on? Is bro? today your birthday? No, yesterday was my birthday. Oh, happy belated. Yeah, happy belated. <laughs> Thank you. Happy belated. <laughs> Menace thought today was your birthday, so we were going to sing happy birthday to you Fuck when you came you on. But <laughs> How old are nah, you? Nah, yes, that was yesterday. How old are you? 29. 29, and I'm fucking terrified. Oh, you're still a kid. <laughs> what are you terrified of? Yeah. Tell Stan. Yo, in, in, 
what what do you what what's it called the like the language that you and uh Andre Harrison speak to each other? <laughs> oh, Pato? Yeah. It's English. It's just broken English. I know it is, Patois. but I just I know it's like but it's it's What is it? Patois. Well, it's Tell, pronounced I I guess Patanos or whatever, yeah. but we say Patois. Tell Stan he's an old dirty bastard who is bad at MMA in Patois. <laughs> Sheesh, how would I damn I don't even know how I would say that. Oh. Um You could rephrase it. Well I would just be like I would just say, Hey Stan that movie like a scrub. Yeah, we a smart. Oh man! And like, uh, cause I know, I know, Yves Edwards uh, can speak it as well, and and Dre. Where does that derive from? The Car- the Caribbean? Yeah, cause Dre's from Trinidad. I'm from Jamaica. The, the, the islands are pretty close to each other. Okay. Well, also, you yeah. said the happy birthday. We also want to congratulate you on that recent win. Yeah. Oh, Sorry. my man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Put that dude away. That dude's tough as nails. Yeah, I figured I had to go to his body because I know I would have to hit him with a fucking truck to put him away upstairs. Yeah. So Cause I when let I, me just go to his body. When I saw that fight, I'm like, oh, Randy Brown's going to wreck this guy. I didn't think you were going to, like, put him away like that. Even that the, whole, was, the whole fight was looked, a clinic. It was a clinic. Yeah, yeah, it was. And that's what I thought the whole thing was going I thought it was going to go 15 minutes of just Randy Brown just like that guy taking doing it. what he wants and just, you know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't know he was going to do the man yeah, like he, that. He did him dirty. That was nasty. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Well, we work hard, man. Every fucking day. Every time I go out there, it could be just like that. Yeah. Well, you were super confident in that fight. And that 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 showed it bled. You know what I mean? And that's what you could do to dudes. What you know what I mean? When you are, when Randy Brown's at his best, that's what happens. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You look but good. But I just got it's finally coming together for me, bro. It's just you know, like I said to everybody before that fight, I'm like learning on the job. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm still still fucking young in the game, just trying to get everything, put it all together. So it's coming together slowly. Now, how many UFC fights is that for you? That is number eight. That was Damn. number eight. That was my eighth appearance. That's a lot. I remember my first season. And I, I got signed to the UFC, what, in 2016? Yeah. So That's they gave lot. me, yeah, what, wow. I had I had what, five fights in 13 months. So That's yeah. a lot. And now what is that? You came off of looking for a fight, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, do- um, that was what, ran combat. That was how we went. Five and a half, six and a half at the time. Oh yeah! Shout out to Lou Negley at Ring of Combat. He, a lot of a, a lot of guys so in the guys. UFC. Yeah, so yeah, many so guys. So many. Well, it, I feel like it feeds like great fighters too. You know, not yeah. just oh, yeah. like anybody, but so many good fighters are coming out. Coming well, even out for a young guy like Randy, he's in that same conversation coming out of Ring of Combat as like Weidman. I think Frank Edgar fought in Ring of Combat too, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Volante, Weidman. Marlon um, Morales. Ryan LaFlair, Marlon Marias. Didn't Drago. Pete Drago sell. Yeah. Chris Every- Wade. Ring of Combat is known for just this ruthless matchup, so it's just like two guys, like two prospects who just fucking fight each other at like at any point in their career, and it's just like, mm. damn. <laughs> you know, so you gotta fucking, Gillespie. like sink or swim. Oh, how can we forget the infamous Gregor Gillespie? Yeah. So now yeah. You, you just got that win June twenty second. Any injuries coming out of that fight? Yeah, I broke my foot in the, in the first round. I'm actually here at the doctor's office right now. I literally just walked out. Broke so. your foot and you in the first round. <laughs> yeah, I hit, I hit his elbow like early. It was probably like, it was probably like the third or fourth kick that I threw. And, now and I did, caught my all elbow. And I, just, I felt it and I was like, oh, well, that's going to suck later. That's what I was going <laughs> to say. Now you felt it and the adrenaline was just carrying you through it or just didn't bother you at all in the fight? Yeah, you know, there's adrenaline. You feel it, but it's kind of like the adrenaline doesn't give you the full 100% of it. You know, you got to get about 30% of it. So it's just like, ah, and you're just going through it. And then the moment I went backstage and sat down, it just it just blew up. I was like, yep, that's that. Oh, what's the severity of the break? Um, Not too bad, just fractured. All right, so six to eight weeks, and you could be back out there, right? Um, probably even less, honestly. I got this boot on. That's it. Now, how are you going to be 
dancing and cutting rug with a boot on. <laughs> That's what I'm so I know right? I know you and Dre get down. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a rough summer, but we're gonna make it happen. What's it called? I I love the videos where like a dude a Jamaican dude gets like on top of a goddamn like shack. He's dancing. There's a girl like laying on her back, legs spread. This does like does like fucking oh, I've seen a goddamn body splash on her. Is that like a certain type of dance? Um, I knew I would get that question from you. I knew that question from you. Um, and do you do it? And do you do this type of dance? No, no, no. I absolutely do not do that. So I know you know people like, that do that dance. I do. I, I do know people who do it. Does right? Dre but do those dances? Thing. It's a group of, it's not really a thing. Like, well, it is a thing. It's a, it is a thing that they do in Jamaica, but I wouldn't say it's like a popular thing. It's just it a takes, certain group of people. It takes a ton of that, athleticism. Really. It takes a ton of <laughs> athleticism. And the girl has to be able to endure pain, right? She has to be like a WWE <laughs> prospect to take somebody Pretty by much. splashing her. Yo, I was watching this video the other day. This dude was like, he was just kind of just, you know, chilling on, on the side of this like tree. And this girl's like kind of like trying to dance on him. He's like, no, no, no. And he goes, okay. Grabs her, essentially climbs the tree with her and is like doing like a bump <laughs> In the tree, I was like, "This guy, how did he? Do? He was ever, like a, he took her up in the tree like a jaguar." You ever see the one where the dude jumped off a building? Yeah, like, that's, that's what like, I was talking like, about originally. And there was and there was like two guys holding the lady. Like, yeah, on the on the floor. Now it makes like, sense. It makes sense with a really skinny guy and like a heavy girl. But sometimes I see these skinny girls getting body splashed. I'm like, God damn, sweetheart. If I was a girl, nah, they they, they practice would, that. That's their thing. So like scared. they go to different they go to different parties and different they travel oh. all over Jamaica. And that's their thing. If you notice, it'll be it'll be the same guy over and over, oh. like a group of guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. I've seen it like a few times with the same guy. Yeah, so that's their thing. That's why when I say it's like it's not really like a. I wouldn't say it's a cultural thing. I would just say it's those guys that they do yeah. their thing. That's what they oh. do. You know what I mean? Hey, do you know Al Jones? Al Jermaine Sermon, yeah. No, no, my buddy Al Jones, who trains at Long Island MMA. Do you remember Oh, him? yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know Al. Yo, we got to get this video. He actually did a video with this with a girl where, like, he she was grinding on him. He actually jumped onto her ass. Yeah. Yo, and, Al Jones has funny on videos. Back? He's like doing curls with the girl. Onto her back, yeah. And she was still, and he was like riding her like a fucking. It was, it's amazing. It never made the internet. I need to try and get it from him. When it's I, amazing. When it's I on see the those internet. Videos, yeah. Is like, it? Yeah, scared. it's on the internet somewhere. On YouTube. Somewhere. Yes. He we remember, need it. In the video, he's doing curls like with the girl at one point. It's I'd impressive. Like to see that. It's Someone impressive. Send that to me. We will put it on the Mess of the Man page. <laughs> Ugh. I get like scared when I'm watching those videos. I'm like, oh, here it comes, here it comes, and then like, I'm like sitting there like fearing for the girls. And so Randy, the other voice you're hearing is our boy Sal Triolo from G Fuel. Oh, finally. The Wait, late, the yeah. Late well, Dennis, here. Dennis interrupted in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I got excited about got this type of dance. Really excited when Randy Brown was on the phone. <laughs> I sh- actually, me, me and Stan need to come out with you and Dre one night. I need to see this firsthand. Now, is there any chance that? You know, Stan doesn't make it out wherever we go. He's a little, um, he's a little pale. No, I got, I got that kind of swag. I'm good. It depends on where we go. It all depends on where we go. I want to take, I want to take him into the heat. I want to take him into the heat. Right, first, we got to start off. First, we got to start off. We got to go to like the source areas first and get you. You know, because where do you guys go? You Queens? There, you know, do you guys go out in Queens? Queens? Oh, I thought you meant in Jamaica when we go to Jamaica. Oh, um, Jamaica. Yeah, we go to Queens. Ooh. We go to Brooklyn. Wherever, but when we're in Jamaica, we go. Listen, we go we're, over. we're born on budget over here. We can't go to Jamaica. Nah, once we get a big budget, that's what we're going to do. We're going to, in our world, we're going to take Dre, Randy Brown to Jamaica, and they're going to show Menace and the Man around. Yikes. And then we'll do a live episode. I'm nervous. Yeah, we're good. That. But, like, we're going in a couple weeks, so it's going it's to be crazy. But in New York City, where do you guys go? Queens, Manhattan? Yeah. Yeah, we go. We usually we usually either either Queens, Brooklyn, or in the city. Okay. We're gonna bring Sal. We're gonna bring a hundred cans of G Fuel. We're yeah. gonna get fucking weird. <laughs> hey, well, you, you should come to the strip club with us too. Oh, don't threaten me with a good time. Fine. Fine. 
<laughs> but the type of, the type of, I know I don't know what kind of strip clubs you usually go to, but the strip clubs that we go to it's it's some it's some big old rump. Well, you yeah, know what we need. I don't know. It, it gets kind of heavy, and I know men. I don't know how much you weigh these days, girl, but it's kind of heavy. Oh, you mean kind of heavy? You mean in what? Big girls? Nah, well, the backside is kind of heavy. Oh, okay. Menace is into that, though. We like girls with big asses over here at Menace in the Middle. Oh, that was you like? Oh. oh, yeah. We're into that. We're into that. I, um, I'm actually, like, I think I'm lighter than I would be normally outside of a fight. Because you still work out. And you still, like, your job is a workout now. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Menace started a new job for his uh, next career. He retired yep. from fighting, and now he's a lineman for PSEG. So, like strippers, oh. like strippers, I work on poles, too. Yep. <laughs> but my poles are 64 years old. I, I'm with the old ladies. You know what we really need? We need uh, Chris Wade and Dre to win that million dollars, and then we go to the strip club with them. Hell yeah. They'll be what, making... Whoa, what are you trying to mooch, Stan? No, they'll go 50 cent, and they'll be handing out fucking wads of dollar bills. I'm not trying to mooch. I'm wishing people good fortune. <laughs> But give me good a, bunch for, of, no. a bunch of singles. Good fortune for the fighters, good fortune for the strippers, and a good time for everyone else involved. Right. Yeah, everybody wins. Yeah, win-win for everybody, Menace. Yeah. So, Randy Brown, what's yeah. next for you? You have uh, anything in mind? What do you want your next fight to be? You think in New York in November? Will you be healed by then? What's going on with you? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get back in November, right? October, November, somewhere around there. Uh, but as of right now, I got nothing. Right now, I'm just going to heal. You know, spend time with my family because I've been in two camps back to back, and it, I was just on a fucking grind nonstop, and it was the worst. So I see my body to heal up, and I need to just you know pay attention to the people that I neglected during the camp time. You know, so yeah, I just I'm just gonna chill for a little bit. But whenever they come, whoever they come with, and whenever they come, yeah, you know, I wanna I wanna be able to just be ready. You know, so I'm just gonna take the time to get better slowly, and you know, ease into it. You know what? Bum me clap. Why why haven't we had you in studio yet? That's the real we I don't know, bro. We need to get Bum me clap. We, we're uh we're at G Fuel headquarters. It's right down the road from Lima. From where? Oh from Lima. Yeah. Oh from where the movie is. Yeah. No, you know what the move is? All right, all right. We gotta go mobile and get him and Dre at the same time. Uh die. Yeah, what do you mean? Or well, you're asking him to come here. Yeah. Listen, if you get me and Dre on that show together. You're not going to get anything done because it's going to be a no. bunch of nonsense. We're just going to be talking a bunch of bullshit. Whatever you guys – hang on. Wait, what do, you, what, do you think we, what do you think we do here, Randy? After Dre's fight, <laughs> we will maybe come to you guys. We'll, whatever you guys are drinking, we will have there. And, <laughs> and hey, and maybe we'll hit Brooklyn or Queens right after. Yeah, I feel like – All right, let's do it. Randy let's thinks we're like respectable journalists. We're the menace and the man. We're yeah. trying to ask the stupidest questions. Yeah, we're the Howard Stern of MMA. We just had we just had Dom Reyes on. We were talking to him about p- people picking up menace at the beach parking lot and that cup w- sizes and that dumb were shit. dudes. Yeah. Hey, I know menace gets wild though. I know menace is a wild man. From yeah. from I just know it. I just see it. I see it in his eyes when I see him. I'm like, yeah, I know menace probably goes yeah. fucking crazy. <laughs> what? You guys never partied together? No. No, but I know no. John. I've seen John. Not I've yet. seen John go crazy before, but I've never seen the menace go crazy. Yet. Yeah. I just know. I mean, his name is the most, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Who parties harder, you or Volante? That's a close call, right? Um, it's different kind of partying, I think. I've seen them both. Yeah, both I think, out in the I wild. think it's a, a different kind of party. Gian is like. He's like. He's, he's, not, break, he's not breaking anything. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about you, that. Why, Menace might break something? I could definitely see Gian jumping through a table or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, same. But yeah, I guess it's where we are. Like, if I'm at a house party, like, what? What do you want me to do? You got the camera ready? I've been, I, I, I've been out with uh, the Menace. Yeah. My birthday in the city. Oh, my gosh. You got... Wait, brunch, right? Brunch. Yeah, go ahead. You yeah. can go into it if you want. Yeah. Wait, should I go into it or? Yep, want, I like yeah. this segment. Story time with Sal. Wait, we were, so we went out for my birthday in the city. We went to like Gansevoort rooftop, and the next day we did brunch. And I was like super hungover, but we we went out and Dennis met up. With I us wasn't for brunch. Hung, I wasn't. Hung he over. wasn't. So he was ready to go, which like I just I had no choice but to jump endless right into mimosas. It. Endless mimosas. <sighs> De- before everybody was leaving, right? We were. We were trying to figure out the next place to go. And I'm like, where's Dennis? And I look, and he's out on the sidewalk with the pitcher of mimosa. I don't know how <laughs> he got out no. the door. But- they had like, they had, they're like, hey, guys, 
we're closing down endless mimosas in like 10 minutes. Our pitcher was halfway full. I'm like, bring another one. She's like, um, but you still have, I'm like, bring it. Bring another one. <laughs> so, he's out the window drinking out of the pitcher. He's pissed drunk, but we ended up going back somewhere and we're in the elevator. Me, you, and that, that one kid that was, uh, Jackie's friends. No boyfriend clue. or whatever yeah. and i turn around and, dude your pants were down to your ankles and the kid knew it there it is <laughs> no, i threw up this guy's apartment no I went... before that though the kid you you that kid was kind of being like kind of like a jerk or whatever yeah. and like you call him out on something and then i don't know what happened but your pants were down to your ankles and you were like talking shit to him at the same time oh but i had my boxes on i don't i don't even yeah. remember but nah, I wouldn't the kid was like oh what's going on yeah I maybe your body wouldn't like, be you're, naked you're talking shit to him at the same time and then before you know it you were like blacked out in the bathroom yeah it was bad and i had to go meet up my lady later and i was we were, were we in brooklyn where were we no we were in manhattan we were in manhattan but like uh not like the city it was like uh more like, there was, like, trees and shit. Like, it wasn't, like... More of, like... There's trees like on every block in the city, area. Dennis. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Fuck off. It wasn't, like, crowd... It wasn't that crowded. Like, the sidewalks weren't flooded. Right, right. We were so, in... I I was going to meet up with my lady, <laughs> and I was walking. I'm like, oh, man. Oh, like, uh, yeah, that's right. You on. gotta go meet her. I don't feel good. Like, let me just lay down on the sidewalk. I'm dressed, like... Amazing. I'm, I, you know, I'm, Wait, I'm also, nines. you went from, like, going absolutely nuts to all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he just, like, sat down and put his head down. <laughs> yeah. And he didn't talk for, like, ten minutes. Randy. He crashed hard. Randy, on the way to go meet up, she's like, where are you? I'm like, I'm not sure. I think I hung up on her. I decided I needed, like, a five-minute nap on the sidewalk. <laughs> so, like, I'm in, like, je nice jeans, like, nice shoes, like a button-up shirt. I decide, hey, right here is good. I lay it down. And then, I don't know, like three minutes later, I get, like, woken up, like, hey, are you okay? This lady with, like, four kids is like, are you okay? I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm fine. Like, and I get up, I'm like, <laughs> god damn it. I really just took a nap on the fucking New York City. Were you sober when you woke up? I felt better. No, you know what? Okay, so the pants thing, back to that. Okay. It wasn't in the elevator. You were just talking shit to the kid in the elevator. Yeah. Because he was kind of being like a jerk. Yeah, fuck him. And then when we were in the apartment, you left the bathroom door open to go take a leak. I was talking And we turned off. around, and your pants were down to your ankles while you were taking a leak. You were just like, yeah. Well, it Was this at the South Street Seaport? Someone wrote, I remember this in the chat. Uh, oh, I don't yikes. know. Who said that? Uh, J Flo. Uh, that's J Jackie. Yeah, oh, there you go. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was it was at uh, it was after brunch at Sarah's. Uh, One of the funniest things apartment. about all of she, my menace stories, I'm taking them to the grave. I'm not talking about my menace stories. They're coming yeah. with me to the grave. <laughs> no, come on. This no. is where we let it Shut out. Shut up. Thought. Maybe all, later. They are all coming on, with me to the grave. Sarah, Sarah, more G fuel. It, it'll yeah take way more G fuel for me to start spilling those beans. Uh. <laughs> That's why me and Menace get along, though. We're both uh, into that lifestyle, if you Cause will. Because I find you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are gamers, too? You guys play video games and stuff? Of course. We right, love we gotta, that you we just segued into up. that. We got to link Xbox, up. Xbox and PlayStation. Xbox and PlayStation. Now, first of all, if it's, if it's PlayStation, don't even talk to me. I, hang on. I hang on. up right now. You want to tell me PlayStation, I hang up right now. You right, want, I'm, you want, I'm going to stop talking. You want to know what's cool about me, Randy? I got both. Oh! <laughs> I got both. Oh! Oh, you got both. All right. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right. So we're good. We're yeah, good. you guys, you, you, you guys have fun on your Xbox. Fuck you guys. All right, yeah, you can't talk you you Now, can talk yo. Podcast, you guys so, so you play <laughs> Call of Duty, right? Yeah, I play Call of Duty. Do you um, like? Maybe I've been playing Division. Since. You've been playing what? The, oh, oh, the new Division. Yeah, the new Division. Fucking fire, bro. Yeah. Oh, right. I was, I was meaning to get into that. Yo, do you play with Dre's brother? He told me his, his brother's an assassin. Yeah, he is. His brother's sick. Right? His brother doesn't play the Battle Royale. I've just been playing the Battle Royale. Of his Division play, or play. of... No, in the, um, in the Call of Duty. Oh, okay. His I'm more... like hardcore search and destroying shit. He's That's... Like I'm more of a multiplayer <laughs> than the... Um... Than the... Uh... Fuck, you just said it. The, the Battle Royale. The Battle Royale? Yeah. Really? If I play Battle Royale, I'd, le I'd rather play Fortnite. But if I want a fucking first-person shooter, let's get some multiplayer going. Some TDMs. Okay, okay. You know? 
Yeah, I, I'm usually like the top three, right, Stan? In what? Call of Duty? Yeah. Sometime when Menace focuses, he's top three. Yeah. But then when he's just like well, do, do dicking around, he no, wants up at the hang bottom. On, hang on, Randy, you can <laughs> Randy, you can contest this where like some days like or, or some matches you just can't get a fucking groove going. You're just getting murked by the same asshole. Yeah. And some days are better than others. Yeah. Some and, days are better than others. I can admit that. And your pride is a real piece of shit. And you're like, yeah, you want to kill me? You run right back to him. He's like, yeah, I do want to kill you. Kills you. You're like, yeah, you want to kill me? Yeah. Not. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not until I get killed five times in a row by the same guy. I'm like, you know what? Let me go a dif different direction. Ends up being fuck this guy. World. So Randy, what what's the beef with PS4 players? That's all I got. I'm a PS4 player. I play. Um, I play with Menace. I play with a bunch of people. What's the beef with PS4? Uh, PS4 is not for shooters. But, you know, if you if you want to play sports, you want to play FIFA, Madden. You know, you know what I mean? Some 2K or NBA 2K, whatever, right? That's when you pick up. That's when you pick up the PlayStation because that's the sport. All right. But if you, if, well, you weren't talking shit, though. I'm just saying. People that put, don't talk shit if you got a PlayStation shooter, all right? Because that's the sport. <laughs> <it's not> the <laughs> shooter. <laughs> uh. We got. I play Fortnite and the UFC game, and then occasionally I'll play a sport game. But pretty much when I do get to pick it up, I actually play the UFC game, which for some reason Randy Brown's not in yet. What? She's drinking yeah. out of the pond. <laughs> You're breaking up a little bit. I'm on the highway. My bad. Um, maybe next year. Hopefully. Yeah, Dutiwa. Bomba clock. Get Randy I'm... Brown in the game. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, But... Fortnite too. I mean, I don't know about Fortnite, man. I, I never really got into Fortnite. My friends got into it, and I kind of just haven't played with them in months because of it. That and game's they, a, yeah. once, once, <laughs> once it kind of died out, then we're all back together playing some other shit. Yeah. I couldn't get into Fortnite. That game's a piece of shit. I, I, I like the only reason I like Fortnite is because I don't feel competitive when I'm playing. It's like right, cartoony. Same. I feel like I'm having fun with my with my yeah. buddies. You know, like if I'm playing Call of Duty, I'm like it's like intense or Counter Strike. Yeah. You know, I like. I like PC. If like you want to see Menace easy. get worked up, play Fortnite with him. Well, no, because I'll play. He goes fucking I'll nuts. play I four get games. I get zero. Fortnite. Hang on, play four games and get zero kills, and tell me you're not gonna get pissed off. All right, I agree with that, but yeah. at the same time, I'm more inclined to play Fortnite. Like, if I had a long day, and like you asked me to play some video games or something, like. I'm not playing Call of Duty or something where I'm taking it seriously. But I'll play Fortnite. I'm like, oh, it's Fortnite. Well, no, here's the, the deal, Randy. Is is Chris Wade's actually pretty nasty at it, and I'll be playing with that fucking asshole and, like, not doing good, and he'll, like, almost yell at me and make me feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's like, dude, I just love this fucking chill, and you're fucking... Man. You're telling me I suck. Like, I know I suck. Can you just <laughs> help me out here? <laughs> Yeah, that building shit, man. I can't, I can't get with the building, but yeah. fuck that. Oh, yeah. I just want to shoot people. Yeah, I, I just want to peek my head around a corner and shoot somebody in the face, like PUBG. Yeah. Wade takes his gaming very serious. Yeah, when yeah. it gets to like the high <laughs> level, you gotta be able to build. No, and they'll fucking leave me. I'm like, really, dude? I came on to play with you, and now you're gonna leave me. We played two <laughs> games. Fuck you. I thought we're friends. Well, he's got friend, other friends that probably listen to his instructions and might be better. He doesn't give us, Stan, you play with him. He doesn't give us any instructions. He's just like, guys, you're too close. Yeah, get away like, from me. That's yeah, the thing you guys says. are too close to me. Get away. <laughs> get away from me. I try to use him as like a shield or if like it goes down. I'll like, tell you what, though. Hey, I guarantee you're better than John. John sucks at every fucking game, bro. No, hang on, dude. Fucking horrible at bro, every he game. He always tells me that bro, he's nasty no, at dude, Call of Duty. I played, I played with him and Stipe on um, the Call of Duty prior to Black Ops 4, and they were nasty. Yeah. Like, they were like, all right, yo, go over by the bridge. I'm like, uh, where is that? They had, like, oh. like plays for maps. <laughs> I was oh, like, damn. you so that, guys that, are... means, that means you must be really bad. Yo, Stipe <laughs> one time went 31 and 0 or 31 and 1. I was like, what? dude, what the fuck? Yeah, so Stipe's they... official. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Tell me him and Stipe play a lot. Yeah. Like, what do you call it? Do you guys play Counter-Strike at all? No. On PC? No, nah, I've never played Counter-Strike. I'm really about it, though. Yeah, I used to play that back from like sixth grade. It's still... I'm, I'm going to... So I have to be in LA Thursday. We're uh, sponsoring... A giant uh, Counter Strike tournament, oh, wow. uh, Blast Pro Series. Man, these guys get like they're so good. How, what kind of dinero are these guys getting? Some of these tournaments they make guap. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, what does that mean? What's guap? 
Give it to us. I want numbers. I don't know what the tournament prize for this one is. But Give us I roundabout mean, like, numbers. Like so the dude, Fortnite Ninja, tournament? Ninja makes like fucking 50 grand a month or some crazy shit like that. Yeah, well, that's streaming. But the prize money in some of these tournaments get crazy. Like, like a Dota, million bucks? Dota goes up to like 25 million. And then you got Fortnite. The Fortnite World Cup is a $30 million tournament in July t- uh, 26th to the 28th. Yeah. Mom, see, yeah, thirty Fort- million dollars. I saw that. Yeah, you know the Fortnite World Cup. Randy, where did we go wrong? Should have kept playing <laughs> video. We games. wanted to fight people. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's true. All right, well, Randy, we keep you here all night. We'll let you get out of here. We want to thank you for joining us. I hope the foot heals up quick. And uh, when you, all right, thank when, you, man. When you book your next one, let us know, and hopefully it's November. Actually, let's set up that travel episode. We're gonna yeah, go visit. Also, him I want to go to Jamaica with you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta work. On, we're gonna work on our budget style. We're gonna take us all to Jamaica one day. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. All right, fellas, thank you for having me, man. Appreciate right. it. Hey, Datiwa. What does that mean? I don't know. What's that mean? What? Hello. Datiwa. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> uh, I thought I heard. I thought I thought Sean Paul says that. Like <laughs> Dundee. No, you guys are Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> What's Sean Paul say all the time? Sean Paul's not Jamaican. Oh yeah, fuck that Boom. guy, right? What is Mind he? He's from the Caribbean, though. No? What is he? Um, he 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 speaks. I think he just speaks like Patois. I'm, I don't think he's Jamaican. I think he was raised there or something like that. I spent, he went. Somebody once told me he went to. I'm not sure. This could be. I could be wrong. But someone told me that he was in the military and he was stationed there and picked up the language. Because he is pretty pale. <laughs> I yeah. saw him randomly perform at like Lava one night. All right, well, we'll figure out what he is, what Sean Paul is. Google. He makes, gr- makes great music, Google. but R- <laughs> Randy Brown, thank you again for joining us. You're the man. We'll talk to you soon. Dot DA. All right, Dot DA. Dot DA. Dot DA. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what's Dot DA mean? There you go. What's that mean? I have no idea. That's Me like either. All right, bye. That's Sean Paul gibberish. <laughs> All right, take it easy, Randy. Uh, peace. Stan, oh. don't do it. Stan, how much for me to pee in your mouth? Any, Ooh, any he, he wrote, actually, can you give me 10 minutes right when we called him? That's pretty funny. How much to pee in my mouth? Yeah. Zero chance. I, would, pun- I, zero. I would punch you right in the dick. Not zero. But hang on. Let's say I was like $10 million. No. What? Oh, $10 million? Piss right in my fucking what's, face. What's the lowest price to piss in your mouth? A million, maybe? It depends. Who's watching? Is it going to be streaming? All of our viewers, yeah. Ooh, I don't know. That's like a moment in time. Yeah, but you could be like driving a Ferrari. I... BJ Penn does it for free. What's 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 your price, Sal, for someone to piss in your mouth? P- uh, I don't know. Five hundred k. You have to, you have to you have to like look at their penis while they're peeing. No, in your mouth? no. You drinking out of a cup? Nope. Direct stream. So we'll land this plane in a few. So where, where what are you looking at though? If it's direct, you could close your eyes. Sal, we're gonna call up Dennis's cousin right now. Okay. Who's also an undefeated professional UFC fighter. His cousin Manny. Nice. We'll talk to Manny for a few minutes, and then we'll wrap this one up. Well, I'm going to take a piss then. Yeah, you yeah, do that. Yeah, me too. You want a sword fight? Ooh, you guys are going to sword uh, fight right now? Bring the camera. All right, good luck with that. Yeah, fuck you. All right, you're a douchebag, man. If you write a check, I'll let you be in my mouth. <laughs> Hello? Manny Bermudez. Manny Bermudez. Dennis Bermudez. How you doing? Stan the man here. Menace actually went to sword fight with our other uh, in-studio guest, Sal Triolo. Okay, right. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Stan? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. I, got, I signed on a fight contract the other day, so I heard the, pumped. I heard the rumor. You didn't get that Uriah Faber fight like we were pushing for, but who's the name? Who's the next victim? Uh, I don't know if you ever heard of Casey Cunningham. He's twelve and one. He's an LFA champ, but uh, he's the next one. Is this his first UFC fight? No. He, so he fought twice on the Contender Series, and he uh, he won one, and then I believe he lost one, and then he fought Ray Borg and beat Ray Borg. Oh, so they gave him one of those, like they brought him back after he lost on the yeah. Contender Series. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like they wanted him. All right, that's what's up. All right, Casey Kenny set for Anaheim, so that'll be a good one. 
Yeah, and then, uh, right after that, I'm hoping to get on Boston too because they're, uh, they came out with the news the other day that they're coming to the uh, garden. Oh, the yeah. Garden. Close to your backyard over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I was born in East Boston, so it's right. <laughs> right what up, fam? <laughs> and now Menace is back. Yeah, I had to take a leak. Oh, yeah. I had to drain the lizard. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's up, cousin? Not a dude. And the voice you guys hear is undefeated UFC bantamweight Manny Bermudez. I was just talking to Manny about his upcoming fight he's got. Yeah, I saw that. I liked it. You liked it? <laughs> I, like I thought mo- you liked it. Yeah, I like most of Manny's stuff. Why? That's what I family like... does. You support yeah, it. yeah, but he's out like drinking with like a friend. I don't know. I'm like, eh, I don't really care. <laughs> I feel like it's funny every time I see you like my stuff because it's like, <laughs> it's like we have the same last name. <laughs> and it makes me laugh like Oh, yeah. One of the best things is sometimes I'll post some stuff on Menace in the Man's page, and you guys like it, like, almost simultaneously. <laughs> it's like you guys are uh, <laughs> simpatico. Great minds <laughs> think alike. Yep. Same wavelength. What's, what's going on with you guys, though? We're just chilling. Excited to be on the phone with one of the last remaining undefeated fighters. No, Manny, I asked Stan how much money... What did he have to get paid for me to piss in his mouth? He's like, nah, you, no. At I'm first, like, I wasn't listening to you. I was trying to wrap up the Randy Brown interview, and you were asking me stupid how, shit. How much money to what? For me to piss in Stan's mouth. How much money for another oh. man to pee on me? That's what Dennis wants to no, talk about. No, not pee on you. In your mouth. I don't know, man. Because it's like, you get, how much money do we get to get punched in the mouth? Like, and then here's the kicker, that's, though, too. It's not true. like there's no camera. He's talking about doing it live on air. So it's like, I don't know. I tell you what. <laughs> maybe I mean, Sal were talking about it in the bathroom. Maybe quarter mil. As you guys were sword fighting in the bathroom? Oh, I, to- yeah. I-, I told quarter, Manny about quarter that. Quarter mil if you don't have to swallow. If you got to swallow, yeah, you're easily I, going to three million plus. No, I feel like swallowing is like, bite it. Make him look like a dick. No. I think, like, I think the hydration like, matters, too. Yeah, you Oh, your hydration. Yeah, your pee could be pretty gross. dude. Well, even here, let's land this plane real quick. Menace and the Man, we got Manny Bermudez on the line, and we're joined in studio also by our boy Sal Triolo from G Fuel. And then What's we up? actually have a stray dog. So yeah. the, the other voice you hear, Manny, is Sal Triolo, mm-hmm. and then the dog you hear barking is a stray that we found in the parking lot. Could be a fox. <laughs> Could be a fox. <laughs> Could be a fox. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> a stray, too. What's going on? <laughs> Manny, you ever drink but, G Fuel? Did you ever drink what? G Fuel. You feel? Uh, no, I don't think I have. Strong, strong sponsors that's supported me throughout my career, and you should try it. And uh, Sal works for G Fuel, so that's why he's even in here because he sponsors me. I guess we're also friends. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what kind of drinks do I make? It's a, it's a, um, it's an energy drink, like, like a healthier alternative to like most of the energy drinks on the market. Sugar free, thirty something flavors. They just came out with the ready to drink cans. Yep, they're killing it. They used to spot. They were in the MMA game before it was cool. Uh, yeah, actually, we were the first ever sports nutrition sponsor in the UFC. Yeah, back when we were Gamma O. You, you, you know what sponsor I miss? I miss Tap Out. Tap Out used to have the coolest stuff. Well, they sold out. So they once they wound up in Walmart, that's when they became like not cool to wear. Is it Walmart? Or Kmart. Yeah. Kmart. Right? One of no, Kmart's closed down. No, I've seen a Kmart like a year. There's or two one in West Islip, no? K- Kmart? There is. You just don't see him. It might be the one left. I know the one right by me closed <laughs> down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you guys, Stan, you've been on Long Island your whole life? Yes. Do you remember Pudgy's Chicken? Shut up, both of you guys. Manny, you want me to send you some G Fuel, dude? Vaguely, vaguely. There's a Pudgy's still around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll take, I'll take it, Kevin. All right, we're going to send you some G Fuel. Yeah. That's what cousins are for. Yep. <laughs> At the family party. <laughs> So, did you get a chance to watch this weekend's UFC, Manny? Yeah, that was crazy. Um, seeing Ben Askren get knocked out like that. Oh, Ben's, you know, he's a big, he's a fan of the show. We actually, I, I was texting with him a little bit today, and I, I like, didn't want to send the text, like, hey, do you want to come on? And then I finally sent it, and he was like, uh, I don't know about that. He responded back? Yeah. I told him he's a legend, and the way yeah. he handled the loss was amazing, and he wrote thanks, but probably I, I not like tonight. Ben Askren so, a lot. maybe next week we're going to shoot back for Ben Askren. Yeah, I think that's the first time I've ever seen somebody like full out sprint across a cage. You see, you, well, no. you see guys like you know jog across, but Masvidal literally like like got like <laughs> all the way across the cage in two seconds. Masvidal did it against Darren Till too. Yeah, only he kicked Darren kicked Till in the, the dick. Nuts, right? Yeah, he kicked yeah. him in the dick. Oh. 
The craziest thing <laughs> is how he was working on that, and that was like the game plan, if you will. Hundred to... percent timed and planned. Without yeah. Doubt. Well, yeah. you saw Mike yeah, Brown that... released the video that they were training that hundreds of times yeah. before the fight. Super smart play. And he angled out and everything too. And just he, like walked. It's like the cage. The term getting caught in a fight. That's when you dip. You should have dodged. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No luck because yeah. it was obviously tactical. But yep. yeah, I, I like Askren a lot too. But uh, that was fair game, man. He's he's a hardcore wrestler. He knew he was gonna. I mean, his his biggest thing is to take you down, right? So yeah. he he timed that and he planted him. And well me and done. Menace have talked about it a lot on the show. That was like two of my favorites. Well done. going at it. Mm -hmm. Tough one to pick. Yeah. Tough one to watch. You don't want anyone to lose. But... All right, all right, yeah. all right. How much for one of those two to pee in your mouth? Why are you going to pee? I, no, I don't rather, want a man to pee in my mouth. Would you rather take that problem. knee to the mouth or a pee to the mouth? Ooh, Stan. Ooh. Knee to the mouth or pee to the mouth? Stan? Is there a fight paycheck on the line or am I just getting kneed in the parking same, lot? Same pay for both. Ooh, I'd rather, yeah. I'd rather get knocked the fuck out than pee. Really? Off. Yeah. That, that was a hard knee, man. The, the punches after were really hard. Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah, but you don't feel those. You're out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he was in. You feel them after. You ever see that meme where it's like, dun, 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 and the people like yeah, flying yeah. through space? That was one of those memes. What about you, Manny? That knee or P? Knee or P? What, 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 what options again? That knee or P? Are you trying to get knocked I think, out? I think P. With oh, P, I think, knee right? Or get peed on same, by a man? Same pay. Same pay. Yeah, I think I think the P, 100%. Because, like, you can fight another day if you, if you get peed in your mouth, but you can't, yeah. like... It's true. You're you unarmed. Know? So you'd rather and get yeah. peed on on video than get knocked out on video. You're, his brain's got scrambled, Stan. What yeah, about, yeah. Like, like, that was one of, dude, that was one of the worst knockouts I've seen where he was, like, rigor mortis, like, toes curling and all that. So what do you think you're picking up... Ooh, that's a good question. What do you think you're picking up more girls with? Hey, I got a video of me getting knocked out fighting professionally, or hey, I got a video mm -hmm. of me making money getting peed on. Okay. You well, want to go out to eat? How about, uh, how about uh, this? No, no, you just don't. You just don't bring up the fact that you got peed on your. Yeah. Why would I have why would I be? Oh, oh. <laughs> she, or, wants to know, she wants to know or, where this money came from. Or you're don't Leo, worry about it, sweetie. <laughs> or you're a badass like Leota Machida, and you just drink piss, and it's good for you. And you just own it. <laughs> yeah. Own you just it. own it. You're like, yeah, drink piss. Especially and I if you fucking took, kick yo, people's stand, ass. Stand, too. stand. Especially if you, it was me peeing your mouth, a more of a man than yourself. <laughs> Then, like, like, if you were peeing, if you were drinking your own pee, it's like, well, it's not as good as Dennis's pee. Not as good for, you know what I mean? Your cousin's bugging, Manny. He's bugging. He took mm -hmm. this interview south. Manny. Mm -hmm. Am I not, like, the asparagus pee? You know I like, wanted to like, get Manny like, on, would you want Arnold's, talk about his like, fight, UFC 239, Menace wants to talk about peeing in my mouth. I don't know. Wait, oh, just I'm, asparagus just, pee I'm, in I'm, the mouth. I'm interested in all this pee I just look at your face. Talk. Oh, come on, man. You Bermudez is... No, I, I mean... <laughs> I don't know, because it's a good question. It's a good question. You'd rather get question. knocked out? You'd, you'd rather get knocked out? Yeah, he's an idiot. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd That's rather so get, dumb. I'd rather get knocked out. Have you, have you been knocked out? You've been knocked out, right? Never out cold. I've been wobbled and TKO'd. Yeah, so. Uh, never out cold, though. I'd rather get flatlined on tape than have a Hang on, but he's never been flatlined, so sick. Dude, we can't even recycle all right. this now. What, what, you wake up like it's a dream. People get concussions all the time, and they wake up, and they go, all right. And then they go, what happened? I'll know what happened. I'll have you that. You know what happened? Hundreds of thousands of brain cells got fucking smashed. I've gotten choked It's out. a tough one, man, because then the emotional damage of getting peed on by a man. But I guess if you get a check with it. Yeah. Hey, 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 what, what, hey what, what if the guy knocks you out and then makes you drink your own pee? Oh, man. Now we're going Like, as you're waking up. Place. Like, wow. as you're well, you're I mean, you're, you're permanently like, there, hey, buddy. Well, hang on. the rest of your life. In all honesty, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> like, <laughs> you're coming to, you're like, what? What the fuck? Uh. It's like, I peed in your mouth. Yeah, well, I, I didn't know because I was rock. Yeah, well, I also knocked you. Well, <laughs> you lost and, both and, wars. And it's that, on camera. Is that so. like a form of rape? <laughs> oh, my God, definitely. Something inappropriate there. And and, and, and he's, he's got his arm around your shoulder. He's like, here, buddy, drink this. Drink this. Uh. You'll feel better. And then. <laughs> Bang! Uh, you're drinking piss, oh, <laughs> and your brain cells are gone. You're not home to know like what you're really drinking. Like, imagine the, if the that's victim what is permanently you your servant for the rest of your life. Yeah, that happens. Like, what can you do? It's like, it's like smelling salts. <laughs> yeah, damn. Yeah, like that'd be an embarrassing <laughs> way to wake up. You got knocked out and peed on you, and you wake up. You like you come to like what happened? You're getting peed on. Hey man, also while you were knocked out, like I made you drink. I had to go. <laughs> 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 
I had to go. <laughs> Manny, wh- when's your fight again? Uh, August 17th. In Anaheim. In Anaheim. That's yeah. what the fuck. Yo, Anaheim's dope. Yeah. Last time our Bermuda's fought there, fight at night. Who'd you beat up? Mac Rice. Ooh, one of the greatest fights of all time. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I saw that kind of had me thinking? No. They put Diego and Clay Guida in the Hall of Fame <clears throat> for their fight. You're gonna tell me Matt Brown, uh, Dennis Bermudez versus Matt Grice can't fit that same. Well, actually, I think his his best performance, like dominating, dominating, why was uh, against was uh, Clay, Clay Guida. Guida. But yeah, I'm saying yeah. they got in the fight hall of fame, like their fight oh, yeah. got inducted, right. not them, their fight. I think Matt Grice versus Dennis Bermudez could be a potential hall of fame fight. Mm-hmm. It's it's always up there in the arguments for sure. Yeah, we might have to shoot. There's so many good. Sal, did you fart? You wouldn't be able to smell it. <laughs> I think you did. <laughs> Stealth farts. It might have been Lola. No, Lola, because my farts don't smell. <laughs> All right, so Manny, you watched the fight, Look, though, she got up Saturday. Too. She feels guilty as yeah. hell. I'm yeah. seeing a little bit of a debate online. We talked to Dominic Reyes earlier. He actually scored it for Santos. How'd you score that main event? Who do you think won that one? Uh, I, I thought Jones won, but I could definitely tell something was, something was up with his legs, too. Because, you know, like, Usually when he smells blood, he just hops right in. And, like, he was doing a little bit of that the first round. But then, uh, you know, after a couple of those kicks that he checked, and, and he, you could see that he just, like, wasn't hopping on, on the uh, on the gun the same way he was in that first round. But I still kind of had him, you know, pushing forward the whole time. Santos, Santos was so tough, though. I, I saw he, like, tore his MCL. His oh, he fucked his whole shit up. <laughs> every, Not even. Every, every CL he tore. And we, we were talking about he actually broke or fractured his tibia as well. So it must have been one of those checks that shut both of their kicking game down a little bit. Yeah, well, I mean. And only for a minute because they were both still they, throwing. They, were, they, they both, like, kicked and broke each other's legs, looked at each other, and then just kept kicking each other. It was, <laughs> yeah. it was ridiculous. I was thinking, what is the rehab for that? Like, he's going to be out for a long time. Full reconstructive surgery, I'm sure. They're probably probably yeah. some pins now. No, no, for the fracture, no, no, no. That'll heal without any type of thing. As long if it was a the ACL a, needs surgery, like a fracture of just like a hairline yeah, thing. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. That, but uh, this he's gonna need all reconstructed. Oh, well, the thing is, he kept fighting on it, so I wonder how much damage he did just walking around, oh, yeah. and circling, and all that. Oh, he, he kept he kept Jones backing up too, which is, is weird, you know. You, you never see Jones like that. Um, you know, like that where where he can't like he smells blood and just doesn't finish you. Some chin on John smart, Jones though. He took some shots yeah. and like just like oh, winked, yeah, like you know like blinked at them and was like, "Oh, did you hit me?" You know, mm. that older brother yeah. syndrome. He's been getting hit well, his whole and, life. And Santos and Santos's uh, poker face is great too. Oh my god, ridiculous! But uh, Manny, you know, did you get to watch uh, your division that one thirty five title fight recently between Cejudo and Marias? Uh, no, I didn't get to see it, but I, I did hear about what, what happened in it. Like my coach watched it and then kind of went into detail about it, uh, to me. He said that, he said that Marias basically kicked out, uh, Henry's legs for, for the first round. And then, uh, <laughs> and Henry got all beat up close again, TKO'd and then took him down and then, um, yeah, and, then, and then beat up Marias a little bit. Yeah. A little bit like that. I think, uh, the first minute maybe, uh, Henry was in a little bit of trouble. He got hit with like a six piece combo and then uh he turned it on. He he had the fight pretty much from that point on, it seemed like. But yeah, I would I was well, I was gonna yeah. ask you if you saw the fight and wonder how you match up, how many fights away you think you might be from a title shot, because an undefeated record, all you gotta do is win a few fights and you're probably right in the mix, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean I I I'm still interested in a couple of other fights too. I was still interested in fighting O'Malley. I think the Uriah fight's a great fight too, but um, you know, just in terms of just building my way up to to, to the top fifteen, and I mean, if if they if they bring up a top fifteen guy, then you know that's fine too. I'm not <laughs> not complaining about that, but there's just you know some housekeeping almost out that I want to do before we get to that level. Any reason why they took Ricky Simon over you for Uriah? I have no idea because uh, he was actually pitched to me for like you know like so I, I was out on a, on a cruise somewhere and then my coaches were like hey do you want to go fight your eye favor and i was like yes and so then uh they, we said yes didn't hear back and then we hear that um he took ricky simon instead so we were a little bit disappointed but you know it's what it is i felt like it would have been like a life-changing fight for me 
Yeah. Now, I, I'll tell you, like, you got offered Uriah Faber. That was it, right? Not, like, Uriah Faber, so-and-so, and so-and-so. Uh, I, I think I think I, I was offered another name, and then... Oh, they um, gave you some options. Yeah, so they gave okay. me a couple of options. I think, I, I think it was... Uh, I, th- I think it may have been like a Lineker and, and, and then Uriah. And then like, they're like, which one of these two do you want to play? And I was like, Uriah. <laughs> so they and like then, you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cause sure. I bet you, I tell you what, Uriah was <laughs> offered probably like seven guys. Like, Hey, which one do you want? He looked through all of them. Yeah. yeah. So it's a little bit of a compliment. They went, nah, not many Bermudas. I'll take this Ricky Simon guy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I haven't really seen too much of Ricky Simon, but, um, I, I, I I looked I looked up his uh like you know his height and his, and his like weight and all that stuff and I think he's just like a shorter guy so yeah that, that may have played into it too yeah and I, I did I did I did just play uh, Benito Lopez who was one of uh, Uriah's guys so right like if if that played into it huh. well Ricky but, um, I know of Ricky Simon he's tough but he's no Manny Bermudez no, so he's not. no he's not <laughs> you know that Bermudez bloodline you guys are fucking warriors yeah, so Uriah yeah. looked at that. <laughs> A long lineage of two UFC fighters. <laughs> you know what it is too. Uriah probably thought like, "Oh, this is Bermudez's cousin. I love Bermudez. I'm not gonna fight." <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. maybe. Uh, uh, Uriah's always been super cool every time I met him too. Well, so. Menace is my but, boy, I mean, so I'm not gonna fight Manny. I can't do this to him. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, no. If, if he beat Simon though, and and I be uh, I be Casey Kenny, I'm hoping that Boston we could I could you know pitch for him, maybe even get him to fight now, over here. Have you been following your ride? Did he say this is he just wants to come back for one more, or is he looking to chase a title again? I'm I'm hoping he uh, he does some damage on on uh, was it this weekend they spent? I hope he does damage this weekend and then decides he wants to do another one. Because hear <laughs> me out, be... he just had a kid. He might be like, "Yo, I need to get out of the house. Yep. Like I need to fight. <laughs> so like I gotta go train. Like sorry, babe, I gotta go make some money. Like." You got the kid. All yeah. right, let me go over here and train. But then after his fight, he'll be like, he'll be back home, and he'll be like, "Oh wait, I need another excuse to get out." And then <laughs> <laughs> that, that's when I hit him with the, "Oh, do you want to fight?" <laughs> I could see Uriah having the mentality similar to Chael. He's gonna fight until someone kicks his ass, and then he's like, "Oh, I guess I don't have it no more." You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Or, or if O'Malley wants to fight, then I'll fight O'Malley. Ooh, that'd be or, a great one. Uh, I saw Cheeto too, Cheeto Vera the other day. Mm, yeah. uh, I think that I think that'd be a good fight. Agreed. Like but it. you know, it's, it's whatever whatever they pitch me though. I'm yeah. just kind of you're yes man, and they my... like that. Yeah, yeah, and I'm trying I'm trying to uh, you know keep my focus on Casey right now. It's just really tempting with you know here in Boston. It's like so soon after after my fight. Yeah. Well, you know what's definitely but... marketable about marketable about you? You got the last name Bermudez. They're used to Bermudez is kicking ass in the octagon. You got the undefeated record. And at 135, 135 is turning in with Cejudo doing what he's done. It's turning into one of the money divisions for the UFC right now. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a lot of good guys in our division right now. Oh, it's stacked. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you think of the state of uh, 45? I feel like I, I was wondering the other day. They had that, uh, that uh, ch- uh, Korean zombie fight. That was pretty crazy. Why? Well, you, think, you, think you thinking about jumping up? No, no, I was just looking at the guys. I don't know, because 45 used to be that division, you know. It used to be the, the one where all the, all the toughest guys were. Uh, I think 55 was always pretty, pretty heavy. And I think 35 was slacking for a little bit, but lately it's been it's been kind of the opposite. I think 35 is a little bit more uh, heavy than 45, and I think 55 has still got the killers, too. Oh, I think f- f- 35, 45, 55, and 70, all killers. Yeah. yeah. I, I think 35 is a little deeper, though. It's kind of kind of sucks to be in that but <laughs> it's kind of good too at the same time oh yeah you, you got, got some a lot of attention on yeah yeah for sure i mean lineker just got signed with uh i think one fc right mm-hmm. yeah i don't know what happened there why he got released by the ufc maybe yeah, he was turning down there? fights or something i don't know well he's supposed to put another guy he's supposed to put another guy from around here rob font and then um and, and like him and rob already fought and I don't know, Lineker was just asking for fights, like, left and right, and then he, he got cut, I guess. Yeah. They and had, had to, to pull out, like, the week of. They had to disagree somewhere, him and the UFC brass, yeah. for them to just cut him like that. Because last I heard, they were offering him fights. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, maybe he was, uh, 
maybe maybe he took the fight and then because he pulled out like yeah. <laughs> they're probably pretty mad at him. UFC does not like the word no. You better be hurt. Yep. You better be getting married. You better fucking be like giving. <laughs> I don't even think giving birth to a kid matters. Yeah, they don't care about that. No, because I I was in a fight camp for a kid. Um and yeah, don't tell us they don't want to hear that you have vacation. They don't like. <laughs> It's also a risk. You don't know when you're going to hear back from them again if you say no, you know? Well, yeah, I yeah. think it's a list yeah. in front of the mat. They have a big board in the offices at the UFC or what I've seen. Mm-hmm. And once you turn down a fight, they probably move you down the list. Like, all right, we'll match him up after we go through all these other guys. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But yeah. Manny Bermudez is a company man. He's a yes man. He's undefeated. Yep. No one's kicked his ass yet, so he has no reason to turn down a fight. Ever. Nobody will. Nope. Yeah, this, <laughs> this, this, this dude, <laughs> yet. <laughs> You know what I mean. You got something for him, Stan? No, I'm saying the same thing as, uh, as Ben Astrin. You know what I mean? It's, L- loser gets peed on. <laughs> Whoa! Love it! In the mouth! In the, In the mouth! mouth. <laughs> In the mouth. <laughs> Flying knees only. Uh, I'm good on that. I'm not trying to bet with uh, the end result being, well, I'm going to pee. Winner, winner gets peed on. I'm good on that. Or loser gets peed on. I'm good for that. Loser gets peed on. That'd be, a, that'd, be a, that'd be a twofer for you, Stan. You get flying need and then pee. And for no money now. For and no, yeah, money. no money. Just yeah, bragging so. rights. Fuck that. Bragging rights on Twitch. Fuck that. <laughs> you, you get consoled, bro. <laughs> hey, dude, here, drink this. No worries. <laughs> and then I'd get harassed by Menace about the whole situation for the next 290-something episodes Every until episode we get to 333. Starts. Hey, yeah. did you know that Stan yeah. got... Pete in the mouth. Hold on, let's let's replay this video let's real quick before clip. we go live. Yeah, that'd we'll be our opening that. scene of every episode. So here, real quick before we let you go, the next title fight at your weight class is looking like it might be Marlon Marais versus Aljamain Sterling. Who do you think wins that one? That's not a title fight. That's probably Marlon gonna be the next one. That's a contender. Like 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 contender. contender. Who? Yeah. Who would I say? Oh no, I meant to say Cejudo versus Aljamain. Well, say that. Cejudo My bad. I, I was reading off the thing. My bad. I meant to say. Henry Cejudo versus Aljamain will probably be the next title fight in your weight class. Who do you think wins that one? That's a, that's a good fight. Um, Aljamain's always so you know calm and composed. I think I think, but damn, so, so Cejudo. I don't know. That's a that's a tough fight. I think it goes to decision, and I think that I would give the edge probably to Aljamain. Ooh, I like Aljamain because I think I think he's well rounded enough. He's long. He's big. Um, you know, I, I think he, I think he takes a bad fight. Mm. What do you, what do you think? What do you think, Menace? I don't know. Who, who do you think is going to win? We're trying to talk to Manny Bermudez about his weight class. It's a tough fight. All right, Menace is getting cranky, so you know what that means. I gotta, no, I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta wake up at five fifteen in the morning. Well, I'd be rooting for Aljo, but so it was a tough bro. one. No, he's got a new yeah, job. Yeah. You haven't heard about his new job, man? Yeah, I'm a fucking lineman, what's, what's, dude. What's your new job? Fucking turn the lights on for motherfuckers. You doing what? I'm a lineman. I work the power lines, you know? I'm oh, I thought, you, I, thought you were playing, I thought you were playing football. Now you guys. turn around. Yo, somebody else thought <laughs> that too. Like, what team? I'm like, you think I am big enough to be a fucking a lineman? I have a couple buddies that are linemen. Yeah, yeah, but they're not yeah. fucking five six, five seven on a warm day, 170 no, no, no. pounds. He's talking no, about a real what you do. Yeah. I'm wondering oh. if you may <laughs> Well, be they're not on my level, dude. In the same company. PSEG? Hey, hey, wait. Well, yeah, I, I got so. a question. Do you, do, you, do you think a UFC fighter would make a good football player? Um, I think, wrestlers, I, I think it depends on the position. Wrestlers, posi- yes. I think it, put, it depends on the position, and I think it also de- depends on the athlete, too, you know? Yeah, yeah. I know Matt Frivola. Matt Frivola is a boss in flag football. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. Yeah, it also depends on size. You got to have size for the NFL. Yeah. Brock Lesnar. Actually, I think Brock played, right? Yeah. yeah. Brock made the practice team, I believe, for the Minnesota Vikings, but then they caught him eventually. He couldn't make it to the actual. But then uh, I'm sure if he stuck with it, he could have made it, but. We're not. Was, uh, we're not that much into football here at Medicine. Who was the that Man. heavyweight? That was uh, um, Brendan Schaub. Brendan Schaub, and there was another one too. Well, right now Greg Hardy is a former football player. Right. He's actually about to fight Juan Adams pretty soon. But there was another guy on the Ultimate Fighter. I thought that Mitrion. Was... Yeah, Matt Mitrion. Well, oh, maybe it was Mitrion. Yeah. All right, Manny. We'll keep you here all night. We'll let you get out of here. Thank you for joining us, and uh, 
Mm-hmm. Let's get this done in August. Oh, yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. Good hey, you. hey, text Stan your address so we can get you some G Fuel. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Thank you. No, thank you. Take All care, right. man. See you, guys. You're the man, man. He talk to you soon. Miss you. I miss you. He doesn't miss you either. Did Dom say he missed me? Uh, I don't think you hit Dom with the I miss you. I, I did early. Hey. Did you? I miss you. Good. Wow. I miss you too. Tito Ortiz is going to face Alberto Del Rio in an, in an MMA fight. Alberto Del the, the, the WWF WWE? wrestler, yeah. Wow. Do you remember he fought in Pride as like Dos Caras Jr. and he got knocked out by Crow Cop? So he has, he has a bunch of them. He has like six MMA fights, I believe. Really? Yikes. But yeah, that's a crazy one. Wow. Well, yeah, I believe I, that's like... I miss Pride. <clears throat> like some Spanish promotion. Combat, uh, what's that one called? Combat is Americas or some shit? Now you're being racist, dude. No, he, that's the name of it. So my buddy Evan is contracted out by PSEG. All right, well, Menace and the Man, episode 39. Real quick, we'll thank our sponsors. We always got to thank G Fuel. Yeah, thank you, G Fuel. We love thank the guys you. at G Fuel. G Fuel, thank you for giving me an RTD today. Oh, that RTD was amazing. They're doing great oh, things God. at G Fuel. We got to thank Home Interiors by Anthony G. Ramita. Yep. J. Romeo Realtor. You can find both of them on Instagram. The law office of Michael Pasiglione. You can find him on Facebook or Instagram. We got to thank Terrap House for always supporting us. Movement BJJ. You know what we got to do? We got to get Michelino to make us a shirt. Make us a nice fancy design. Heard that. And then uh, Island Cava. Our friend Ryan LaFleur is about to open his place with our friend Eric Ott out in Patchogue. What yeah. is he opening? Uh, Cava place out in Patchogue. Like tea. Is that the crazy tea that he was speaking about when we were at the German place? Yeah, like- it might be in there too. Yep, some crazy tea. Yep. I'm down for Makes that. Makes you feel good. And then I have some posts ready to go out for Menace in, to in thank Patch his sponsors on, from uh, uh, on Main Street? Right in town. Nice. Yeah. When it's Menace like com- when Menace competed area, for the Rise, he had a bunch of sponsors. We've been waiting to get some shout outs <laughs> to him, but we got some clips ready to go. And uh Menace is gonna go around and collect that money. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right, so yeah. Mark. Episode thirty nine. Th- thank you for joining us, Sal. We gotta yeah. get you in studio again. Mark. Ing, bird. No, Ing. yeah. You say yeah. yeah. Mock. Yeah. Mock. Yeah. All right, let's start this over. <laughs> Mock. Yeah. Ing. Yeah. Bird. Yeah. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. 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 Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. I put my right. own little thing Yeah, on I like that. that. I like that. Yeah. You want to know how I'm going to end this with? You just remix that. I like that. Shut up, Stan. You know how to end this? How? Whoop. See you later. Whoa, whoa. Be careful with the equipment, bro. See you later. Just Press stop streaming. Just like Eat. my friend Dennis. <laughs> See you later. Press it.